popping, people? Welcome back to Say Less with Kaz <laughs> and Low Key. I was thinking Cam was like, why are you yelling? Yeah, yeah. We come in hot. We come in hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Lowe's used to this, right? So like when we're talking, we could be in full conversation. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, Yo, what's popping, people? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm already And that. obviously our guest today <laughs> wasn't, was used, wasn't used to the swift change. Bro, because you know, yo, at the corner of my eye, I see this nigga look like, what the <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like, yo, it, because I, I know the intro. Like, yeah, I right, got, right. Oh, this nigga starting. I yeah, like, oh, yeah, we go. I, I was, as, as soon as Eden says we go, we go, bro. Yeah, I was so. waiting for like one of these. Nah, like, oh, cool, cool. nah. Right. I like I like to come in hot. Right, fair, I fair, like fair. this energy, yeah, right? Fair, fair. So, like I said, <laughs> what's poppin', people? <laughs> Welcome back to Say Less with Kaz and Low Key. My name is Kaz. Yo, this is Low Key from New Jersey, Howard University graduate, host of Hip Hop R&B on Apple Music Hits, five days a week, eight to 10. Tune in whenever you want, and you can listen to past episodes on demand on Apple Music. I like that. Good plug, Working good plug. Thank you, thank you, thank Working you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you yeah. listen to the podcast uh, on Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to the show, appreciate you. We got Ed in the house, locking down cameras, doing hey, all the production. Up? You got Jake behind the bar handling everything. Jake from was popping. The, the, the multifaceted, the multi-tool player. You know what I'm saying? And of course, the people that I truly love. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I don't love you if you listen to this podcast on, on regular audio. <laughs> but if you watch it on YouTube.com slash Kazim, you will notice we have a very special guest today. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> We got a very special guest today, yeah, man. Dude. Man, listen, uh, this guy to my right is not only one of the most uh, ingenious, one of the most intuitive, yeah. one of the most I disrespectful. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> to his friends, to his friends, to his, to his friends. friends to I'm to saying all nice things. <laughs> oh, you said, let's get like, on the side of the pillow. Dude, this was my fault. I'm like, what? Thing, yo, every I'm intuitive. like, I'm, I'm respectful. I'm, 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 I'm saucing it up for I'm the sorry, people who I'm sorry. Know. I'm sorry. I'm you know sorry. I mean? I'm sorry. This got to keep our friends honest. I understand that. Every time I'm in I, last lap, what does I he do? He takes that. my hat off and throws it across the room. And he takes his straw and yeah, takes it and out and your yeah, yeah. done that in like Doesn't matter. three years. Doesn't still. matter. You still got to know what it is, brother. <laughs> Does not matter. I'll take ingenious. I'll still- <laughs> Yo, all talented right. ingenious, yes, yeah, everything. It's all there. One of the most innovative minds I know, but yeah, not only that, you, he's one of our best friends on Thank the you, planet. Man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Man, if you've been to uh, any of his events, which I'm assuming you have if you listen to this podcast. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, we all did this <laughs> together. <laughs> together. <laughs> so essentially, yeah, you would have been. So I'm assuming you are. My man Cam, Yo. aka Coolest Kid Out, yeah. aka uh, Cameron McCullough for yes. doing government names today. Yeah. Right. He is a guest. Up in Lion's Den Barbershop in Cliffside Park, New Jersey. My man Jersey. snuck into the tri-state for snuck some family quick, time and quick. decided to come yes. check his brothers. Yes. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Came to, to come check on us real quick. Yeah. I was like, man, we about to, it's Sunday. You going to yeah. be here Sunday? Come, 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 come kick it with us. Come Yo, poly with us. I, I told like five people I was coming to the Now they're to all the going to be pissed the fuck off. Yeah, of course. They're, they're going to watch this um, tomorrow and be really upset. Oh, you but had I was time like, to go to a podcast. You mm-hmm. had time. You couldn't come. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of time yeah. to go to a podcast. These things happen. Yeah. And I was like, and you know, like like I told you you both on yeah. the phone, like I've been watching you guys build this and um, super fucking proud of you guys. And hey, just been hey, what man, you're, thank you. Appreciate thank that, What you're bro. doing with, with carving your own lane, finding your voice and like having your point of view. It's very unique. And I was like, yeah, I want to go and like and, and fuck with y'all. Yeah, and just yeah. you know, I'm I'm happy to be here in Cliffside Park, New Jersey. Yeah, welcome to the Burbs. Thank it's you. nice. To be this here. is the fucking Burbs, Burbs, man. <laughs> Bro, like, so this see, Kaz has a driveway. Kaz <laughs> <laughs> has a driveway. You understand? <laughs> you understand? Oh, Kim got a deck. <laughs> Balcony, bro. Bro, got a base, got a man cave, bro. bro. It's lit. In the I, I work, house, I work bro. hard, bro. bro, we know. bro. We know, I bro. work hard, bro. Yeah, so know. I was in, I was in the Uber on my way from from the city, and yeah. I'm like, all right, yeah, I put the address in. It was, it, it was like 30 minutes. So like, cool, I'm like okay. going to Jersey, 
and we're making all these turns on just like one lane roads. I'm like, where's he taking me? And then like, <laughs> things like, is he trying to set me up? Like, I just, so like I, if you don't know where you're going, it's definitely one of those like, like I'm the, getting, the yeah, I'm getting right, set up. Yeah, the water's right, right there too. <laughs> so I, I got the Uber app open. I'm following the map. I'm like, all right, he's taking me to, to, to Kaz's yeah, yeah, house. Yeah. And we make that turn and I'm like, yo. <laughs> Is this his house? I was like, is this? I was like, oh no, this is his house. I seen this picture, and I'm yeah. like, yo, this motherfucker lives in the burbs, burbs. <laughs> like, so I didn't want to get out until Cass came out the house. Cause yeah, like, bro, <laughs> I saw, I saw. First off, you got you got mad like, beefy on niggas out of nowhere. Pause. So like a pause. pause. So like pause. I see the window, I'm like, who's this linebacker walking outside? <laughs> Spoiler alert: not a whole lot of black people in the neighborhood. Right. So when I see one. My my antennas immediately go like, up. Who the like, fuck who? is this? Oh shit, it's Cam. Yeah, bro, come on. Bro, a lot of side bowls and impossible burgers. Bro, bro, bro so like, yo, it's showing. It's so, showing. So Cam said it's he's showing. like, yo, I'm gonna pop up on the podcast. I got gifts for y'all. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, oh, it's oh, this nigga. They got me. This nigga. Okay. Like, dipped out. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. the nigga walks in the kitchen. Really he walks in the kitchen with a kit bag and uh, a mirror. So you <laughs> thought? I'm like, oh, this nigga went. This nigga went shopping for us. <laughs> This nigga's like, no, I got y'all rosé. And I'm like, what the fucking wine? Bro, could've went to the store for $10. Like, I don't want, nigga, what's in the best? Bag? Bro, how rich do you think your friends are, bro? You think he's just bringing, like, this, yo, you think he's just bringing kids bags? Like, just for, yo, he it's know, Sunday. Bro, he knows all Also, it's like, bro. you think I know your size. Word, like, I just thought I'm not gonna guesstimate on, on the hoodie. I, I was excited. Yeah, I saw the bag and he was like, no, nigga, nah. I got you wine. I'm See, like, I was gonna, mm. I was gonna get you like a hoodie for your birthday because I know how much you love hoodies. Right. But you've been talking about fucking protecting your hoodies for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I was like, I don't want to. So, so why like, not? Okay, so why wouldn't you? Because I'm, I'm not sure if it'll be safe because you've been talking about <laughs> protecting it for so long. You have been going like, a, like aggressively hard on like the protect the hoodies no, campaign. I mean, like, like well, it's, it's, I get it's, it. A, it's the narrative of the fall season. I get it. That. I, and, like, I 1, I respect it. it. And when that's... you get a girl, like it's, that's the narrative as well. Right. And she likes to, yo, I want to sleep in a hoodie. Like where, what, what hoodie can I take? So she's very respectful. Mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. how she selects them so mm -hmm. you know and to, to bring it back full circle you should have brought me a hoodie i, I, <laughs> I knew i knew he was Especially passionate for my about birthday, that bro you're right yeah, i'm sorry not i'm like. sorry should have known better I'm you, you being here is enough we good, bro, bro, we good. I, 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 your I, presence like, is a present say bro i don't live here but like, i would like a, no but I, I would like a present listen okay. i'm appreciative of the rose like okay like the bro, somebody, bro, this is these ungrateful bro. mongrels. I have not seen this. Yo, he has not been back. In I haven't seen this man since what? what March, February, February? half a year. It's been. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm giving him all the shit. All star, I think. Yeah. 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 So I saw you was in Chicago. Right. I saw you briefly when I was in New York in March. Yeah, that's when I saw. Yeah, I saw you. Like briefly. right, right when Jeez. pandemic was about. Yeah, right was, when was Corona off. hit was was yeah, when last I saw you. Yeah, 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 bro. Bro, but we we all here, man. Yes. Anybody who knows. The story's been told a million different times over, so, <laughs> so we're not even good. How many times, no, I mean, how many ways oh we can tell God. that story, bro? Like, for the for God. the for the <laughs> for the benefit of those who have heard this story <laughs> millions of times, this nigga. is not going to be that type of podcast again. Yeah, like, we, we are y'all know how it is. Y'all yeah. know, y'all know, and if you don't know, just fucking Google. We was broke, we got drunk, we toured the country. <laughs> the end. The end. <laughs> that's, that's the explanation of the Palooza party. That's that's the story. But I'm still broke. That's not. I'm first off, bro. first off, these are, if, these if are, you believe that, I got a bridge in fucking Jersey can, City to sell you. I can tell by the fabric. What's this? Is this I don't even know how to say this. Amir, 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 Leon, what? Amir, Leon, Dore, 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 Amir, Leon. Was it like? Is it made in like Europe? Like it's like, made in Queens. Made in New York, bro. <laughs> it's made in Queens. Fabric is nice. I like it. Fabric is nice. I didn't know it was Queens, but shout out to New York. Yeah, listen, I love it. Queens get the money always, all day. Oh, all man. day, man. But other than that, man, yes, anybody sir. who knows our story knows that aside from all the cool cultural things we've all done together yep. as a collective, we're also like very long time friends. Yep. Legit so, friends. Like, you legit, know, it's, legit friends. It's good to to have Cam here to kind of shoot the shit with us. Yep. So uh, let's we're, we're going to shoot some shit. But before we get into all that, um, I just want to spend a, a special shout out to our guy, Vic, yeah. who uh, runs this store. He uh, um, unfortunately lost his brother. Uh, this morning, an uh, no, unfortunate just... accident. Um, so rest in peace um, to to his brother. Um, I want to make sure that we we take care of this at the beginning of the show before we get into it. Yeah. But you know, yeah. our thoughts and prayers to Vic's entire family. Um, 
we don't have this show if it's not for him. Yeah. Right. And him open up, opening up the doors to his, his beautiful shops and yeah. let us kick it here every yeah. week. So and trust us with and his trust space. us with yeah. it. You know what I mean? So like, I just want to give love and 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 condolences to to Vic, man. One of my very 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 good friends. And I know it's a tough time for him, and it's going to be a tough road. But uh, just let him know if he's hearing this. I know he watches the show every week. Yeah. Uh, I know his wife watches the show every week. We're here for you guys, and you know we love you. And yeah. you know just just cover him in some love and support if you see him or hear from him lately. So uh, yeah, let's 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 uh, let's. There's I mean, no it, there's it, no it, easy way to transition it, after it's that. It's not, but you but, know. But I think him being here. Yeah. And what happened last night? What happened last, what happened night? last night? Hey, what, what transpired let's last talk, night? What happened last let's night? talk about it. Ten gold night. things happened. Ten NBA final appearances. Things closed out. What was it? Game five. <laughs> closed out game five with a triple double. 38, 16, and 10. 16 of fourth quarter points. 17th year, mm. 35 years 35 old. 35 years old. Mm. And the man is running around Wash like King. a sophomore. Let's Wash talk King. about it. So, Wash I mean, King. the man who could talk about it better than me and Kaz is my boy. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> Damn. Cool this kid out. Yo, so, to kick no it off. There's no bigger supporter. No, there's no. Of the James gang. And I know no. plenty of James gang supporters. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. And I still believe Cam's. No, I'm number one. To, yo, so, to kick, top it off. 1%. <laughs> to kick it off, bro. Uh, cool. Bro, Cam, the Los Angeles Lakers for the first time in 10 ones. years. What is it, man? How, how does it. What, what, what are we doing? Right, so, I'm going to give y'all some statistics. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. I'm on my way over here. I was reading some very interesting things about. LeBron James. Yes. Tenth time in the finals. Mm, tenth time. Um, only two players have been to the finals more times. That's Sam Jones and Bill, Bill Russell. Russell. <laughs> and those were on the Celtics teams who were playing the mailmen and the milk cart carriers. And that's when there was like 12 teams in the yeah, league. Yeah. <laughs> like, so to that point, there were 12 teams in the league then. There are 30 teams in the NBA now. Mm. LeBron James has been to the finals as a player himself more than every franchise except three. Yes. The Lakers, Celtics, and the Warriors. And the Warriors. Teams. Yeah. <laughs> and has done it with three separate teams. Done yes. it technically four separate teams because his first Cleveland team, completely different team. Right. Had no one to run with him besides the Junus Ilgowskis. Booby Gibson. Well, and I mean, Booby I, Gibson. I, 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 I Booby Gibson, and Sasha Pavlovich. Booby Gibson got, caught that little hot little streak in he the playoffs. Did. I remember time. I saw I, three different franchises. Yeah, right. three different franchises. Gotcha. Yes. Three yes. So franchises. he's taking now five different coaches to the NBA Finals. Because right. let's be clear. LeBron James has appeared in 12% of all NBA Finals. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a nice little stat. That's a nice little stat to <laughs> He's have. appeared in 12% of every NBA Finals it's ever. It's a nice little stat nuts. to have. And what just makes me so happy as you know a fan, and I just appreciate his greatness, mm -hmm. is that in his 17th season, he's still reinventing his greatness. Mm -hmm. He played point guard this year. Led the league in assists mm -hmm. at six nine two sixty five. Yeah, yeah. And everyone told me that the Clippers. Shout out to y'all, Fraud Angeles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fraud Angeles, my frauds. Well, my man came prepared frauds. today. Fraud. Oh, oh, and we, and we dug in on that. Yes, bro, we, did, we dug in on that. Bro, yes, I watched did. the segment At again length. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> At length we dug it. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, people yeah, people have been telling it. me, you know, Kawhi. Kawhi has now surpassed LeBron as the best player in the league Ugh. after beating a Golden State team that didn't I think have Max Kevin Kellerman Durant. said that shit too. Yeah, yeah, have Steph, yeah. didn't have KD. Yeah. And the media is just going to like put anybody above LeBron. They've been doing this since 2014 when KD won his first MVP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're like, yo, he's now surpassed LeBron. LeBron James has been the best player in basketball for the last. 10 years unquestionably yeah. to me the last 12 years with Kobe respectfully yeah, of course, RIP of course, to the great bean word, word, word. he's been the best I would say I would say around 2008 <laughs> 2007 yeah. was when I thought you know and again all respect to Kobe mm -hmm. and his greatness of course, and, and of everything course. but like I've always believed that like this dude was the dude oh. like I, there's nobody in the world I want to start a team with than him no you know what I mean so alright so then okay you know I guess Ken this is a question more so to you mm -hmm. Uh, Giannis gets his second year mm -hmm. MVP, mm -hmm. uh, Defensive Player of the Year. Mm -hmm. um, where is the discrepancy between the two in regards to that? To um, that fact of the, the MVP. Why, yeah. why, is, why is Giannis the, always the, or continuously being the favorite? Bro, if we're being frank, it's just, it's media. Narrative. Like, it's the media's okay. It's Narratives. the media's It's fault. us. It's us, man. Like, you see it in every, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, there, no, but no, like, no. You, you see it every season. We're watching this Cowboys Seahawks game right now, mm -hmm. right? Like, 
narratives are set in the beginning of every season, right? right? Mm -hmm. The narrative I kept hearing before every NFL season or any every NFL game this year was like, did you know Russell Wilson has not got a single MVP yeah, vote yeah, yeah, in yeah. his entire career? Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Like it's, it's like, all right, unless somebody else has another Lamar Jackson type mm -hmm. season that comes out of nowhere <laughs> yeah. and, take, and plucks a team from obscurity, I'm thinking maybe the only person that has an outside chance of giving Russell Wilson any type of run for MVP as a guy like Kyler Murray or something mm -hmm. who just fucking like comes mm -hmm. out of nowhere and takes the Cardinals to like the AFC Championship. And they're not going to give it to Kyler Murray and they're not before going to. Russell Wilson. Exactly. Because right. right. Kyler Murray is like the next Russell Wilson. The son of Russell <laughs> right, Wilson. Right, 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 right. So I say all that to say like Giannis kind of caught the same sort of bug where mm -hmm. it was like the narrative was already established. Mm -hmm. And for the first time in a while, it looked like to me that. LeBron, LeBron actually had the media in his mm -hmm. like he mm -hmm. actually had certain talking heads mm -hmm. like listen I understand Giannis has thirty points per game, twelve rebounds, shoots has the highest mm -hmm. PER rating, mm -hmm. number one seed in the league, yeah, all this other shit we understand that but like when you're talking about straight up value, it's hard to go against LeBron. No, James. There's not a player more valuable to not only his team, but to a franchise and to a city than LeBron James. Yeah, and, and, point and to a community. And to a community, to, so boom, perfect example, right? You take Braun off of the first Cleveland team. Mm. His last season in Cleveland, they won 66 games. The next year, they had the first pick in the draft. Yes. He goes mm. to Miami, tears Miami up. They're in the finals four straight years. Mm. Leaves because they're a little older. It's not kind of what he thought it was when he was going there. He leaves Miami, they go back to being in the lottery. Mm -hmm. Uh, they lose Chris Bosh and all that stuff, but they go back to being in the lottery. They, right. be, they go from being at the pinnacle of NBA culture mm -hmm. to not talked about. Right. He then goes to Cleveland. Who wants to go back to Cleveland? Nobody. Only LeBron James because he wanted to challenge himself because he heard that same narrative. Oh, you joined a super team or you made this team. He's here's like, a point, here's a point to prove. I'm going to go to Cleveland where I didn't get it done the first time mm -hmm. and I'm going to go get it done against this up and coming monster. Yes. That's the Golden State Warriors. Should have yes. beat them twice. Should have okay. beat them in 2015. Didn't get that because Kevin Love and, um, Kyrie, and Kyrie got hurt. hurt. Mm -hmm. Comes back 2016. Took him six, though. Took him Took six, six with yeah, Matthew yeah. Delavadova as the second option. <laughs> Took them to six games. Yeah. And and averaged a triple-double. Yeah. Andre Iguodala got a finals MVP just because he guarded LeBron. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Kawhi it's got Kawhi. it because he guarded <laughs> LeBron. Like I want, that, that was my, another part of my Fraud Angeles tirade. I'm like, do we really go back and look at them Spurs numbers? Wow. Like he had like two like monster games That's out it. of that series and he got the MVP for guarding LeBron and winning. So you're telling me that a player who can just guard LeBron and do do okay. He can yeah. hold LeBron to 29, 12 and 9. Right, <laughs> he gets a, he gets a finals MVP because of that. But then you're going to turn around and tell me LeBron James is not the MVP of the league every single year every single for year. what he does. But it's again, it's a media award to answer your question. I blame the media because there's no reason that Michael Jordan doesn't have 10 MVPs. There's, there's no, no reason, reason Kobe like, has Kobe one. And, Kobe and Shaq have one. Have apiece. one. <laughs> have one. And Steve Nash has two. Yeah. His narratives, man. Like it's every year. This is, why I love, this is why I love that why they're, they're my friends. <laughs> because every fact that they just rumbled off the last two minutes had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you ask me about yeah. who had the best album in 2014, I'll, 15, to that. I'll yeah. sit here, right? And I'll go for five minutes we'll straight. Get to all yeah, I too. love this to see these niggas like, yo, without blinking. This nigga does it every week. Yeah. This nigga does it every time we talk. <laughs> without <laughs> blinking. 29, 10, and 12. Okay. Uh, th 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 like, it's like they're pulling numbers out the fucking sky like it's a blue To be fair, right. I'm only like that with, um, with basketball and yeah. LeBron. I don't watch enough of other sports oh yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I mean, he, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's a little bit. Basketball all. niggas is like as a sports all. journalist, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, clearly, yeah, clearly. I see it all, man. But yeah. nah, it's 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 crazy because it's like, man, I don't even think as great as he is, mm -hmm. as as we all know, a lot of things in this sports world, pop culture world, a lot of things don't move without him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even with all that, I still feel like he's underappreciated. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still feel like it's like, yo, do you like, are you really like, I tweeted something last night. I'm like, yo, we get to watch LeBron James play basketball. Mm -hmm. Like, did Michael mm -hmm. ever see, like, give the, the get, get this? MJ? I would think the so. Underappreciation? I, think, I don't think he, he had to, I think, I think, because, yeah, his last yeah. two years, yeah. MVP went to Carl Malone, mm -hmm. and then the year before he got, he retired, the MVP went to Charles Barkley. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was like, 
But they see, had great years. Don't get me wrong. But, but is it because like, like, I see like we're talking the, about like, who's most valuable? But like like the narrative <laughs> like uh, of what you guys are speaking of. Yeah. I I I don't know if I saw that because I watched Michael when mm -hmm, I was young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. But I don't know if I see the the underappreciation as much as for LeBron. Yeah. No, I don't. I, think, I don't know I think, if I see it as much. I also, think, sports are covered differently now. But go yes, ahead. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I was right, about to right, say right, like the right. way sports are covered are differently now because back then, like LeBron has been chasing a ghost like mm -hmm. his whole career. Mm -hmm. Right. Like. MJ set the standard, mm -hmm. so like any sort of underappreciation that he had was erased quickly because he'd always won a championship. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. he remind you he's mm -hmm. the best. He's a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But LeBron, any sort of knock against him, any sort of thing that well MJ would have did this or he would have did that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like or MJ M did that or mm -hmm. did that. Like yeah. any sort of any sort of knots under his belt was always looked at as a slight, mm -hmm. and it's always like, well, I guess he can't. He think can't close it. out. He let's, can't let's, finish. Let's think, he's not yeah, clutch. Was the, initially, early in his career, well, he's not clutch. Oh well, he can't shoot. Mm -hmm. Oh well, he's uh, you know, he's he's never gonna win because he, he's scared to take the last. He's scared shot. to yeah. take the he, last. He makes shot. the right basketball play, but he, he has too much control to over a team. Right. He has right. all like. There's always been something to knock him. Even this year, mm -hmm. this year, I'm like, yo, the same conference that y'all told me LeBron James wasn't gonna dominate. I was scared to run because. Through. The Eastern Conference is the mm -hmm. Eastern Conference, and mm -hmm. it's weak, and that's the reason why he's been in the finals every year. Mm -hmm. First time he's fully healthy, he goes mm -hmm. to the finals. But and okay, then it's like, but, 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 oh well, but, the Golden State Warriors weren't there, and Portland Trailblazers were meanwhile, hurt, and blah blah blah. The current MVP two times mm -hmm. can't yep. make it out the Eastern Conference. Nah, nah. Let's nah. talk about it. Two-time MVP. Let's talk about it. And I, I only want to show. Is, is, no, I'm not shooting on y'all. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 let, 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 let me be objective. Let me stop it from shooting on y'all. It's no slight to y'all. This is just being up broad. Let me play devil's advocate. No, I get it. Let me play devil's advocate. I'm just looking at what Giannis is stacked with compared to what LeBron is stacked with. Right. Yep. That does play a major part in the advancement of Giannis's, you know, career in regards to the playoffs. For sure. For sure. You know, you look at the Lakers, experience, youth. And just energy, right? And right. they had time to rest. Chemistry, Chem and chemistry. Yeah, Giannis and the Bucks. You put if you put Giannis with the Lakers, Giannis is going to do the same exact thing. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Listen, listen, listen. The Denver Nuggets was no scrubs, bro. No, not at all. People no, people all. kept anytime anytime they came back from a three one deficit. The story mm -hmm. was always about wow. I can't believe the team. Blue three one deficit. Denver was like that, and it wasn't just like nah, like Denver, Denver came like back that. from three one. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamal, like they weren't that. like these guys weren't like fumbling over They're themselves. No and slouches, like yeah. Jamal Murray was having like all world performances. Mm -hmm. Nikola Jokic mm -hmm. was having all world performances. Mm -hmm. right. Like this wasn't something where it was just like oh my god, like these teams are. So when it comes to a guy like Giannis being on the Lakers, mm -hmm. I can't. I cannot confidently say he do the same thing because when it was time to shut the door last he, he night, ran, he ran. Oh, I mean, LeBron they, yeah, wasn't they killed it. LeBron wasn't shutting the door by driving and dunking on everybody, which mm -hmm. is what Giannis does: is driving and kicking. He shut the door with long range bombs mm -hmm. that stretch the floor, and like everybody says, whoever watches LeBron James, <laughs> if he's <laughs> if he does if he's if he's if he's in this bag, if he's in the. <laughs> like the, the set, fucking, like, like that little look off yeah, the, the yeah. fucking uh, yo somebody yo someone made a video like that a couple months ago that bro. every time he wipes his his hands on his jersey <laughs> and then does this and steps uh, back it's, it's over it's, go, it's over it's over when it's he's over. in that bag yeah there's nothing you can do because everything he has no weaknesses the only weaknesses he might have is father time and he's beating father time's ass so very, you know very consistently like, very consistently and that's what i'm saying with Giannis, it wasn't granted Giannis got hurt yep and course, who's yeah. to say that who miami yeah. that they lose to yeah, they who's to miami. say miami doesn't you know still win if Giannis wasn't hurt because you know they seem like a team of destiny mm -hmm. they actually look like they they give me Spursy vibes, yep. bro. Like yep. just no real weaknesses. Yep. They play together. They move the ball. They got shooters. They got a big man who could pass and yep. score. They got Butler, who's a vet. They got a great coach. Yep. Like they 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 look the part. Right. They look the part of a team that can be the best team in the mm -hmm. East. Like right, it's right. not mm -hmm. so much like, mm -hmm. well, Giannis is you know he should be 
taking his team and dominating these teams and whatever. It's like, yeah. nah, man, like the Heat ain't no scrubs. Boston no. ain't no scrubs. No. Like it was between those three. It's just, it's, just, it's just very, it's very peculiar. Just like two time MVP, defensive player of the year, and you can't get out the Eastern Conference semis. It's, it's just, it's just. I think now, now the pressure's it, it on. It looks honest. funny in the light. I mean, that's, right, that's all. Even from a non basketball analysis, that looks kind of crazy. Thing. It's, it's, it's getting very Bron like. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's. They said the same thing about LeBron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Years ago, Braun had two MVPs. Yeah, two MVPs. He, <laughs> okay. he couldn't get out the East. He couldn't beat a all-time Celtics team mm -hmm. twice. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying by himself. Mm -hmm. And which now, is why I say he needs to be wrapped around a supporting cast. Yeah, that's, that's what I that's think. What I'm Giannis has um, a, a great supporting cast. I but where I think the difference lies is in and what makes LeBron all-time and generational is that he elevates everyone around him. Right. Mm -hmm. Giannis does not do that. Right. Yet. Giannis potentially could do that. I feel like the problem isn't with his supporting cast. Giannis has to work on his game. Yeah. He has and to work on his game. Giannis is what, only 24? He's like 24. Yeah, he's like 25, 25, 25, 25 years old. 25 25 years old. He has time. But yeah, like, of course, of course. To, to say, like, back to my thing of like putting people in LeBron's class, like LeBron just has a deeper bag than everyone. Yeah, we can't. Mm -hmm. And when I say mm -hmm. uh, it, it all ties back to us really not appreciating his greatness mm -hmm. or kind of underappreciating it because all these things we're talking about Giannis, mm -hmm. we said about LeBron once mm -hmm. upon a time and mm -hmm. he checked off all those boxes. He went back in the lab, mm -hmm. got a jump shot. Mm -hmm. When he got too old, well, when he's getting older and he can't just fucking fright train around people mm -hmm. anymore, yeah. he's like, you know what? Which he, still does yep. Which he still does yeah. Which he still can do. Which he still does He still can do. But at the same time, it's like, all right, well, you know, now he's at a point where he's so much, the game is so much more mental to him than physical. You can tell where he's kind of biding his, like if you're watching the game, like once it went to the fourth quarter and the Denver, Nug Denver Nuggets cut it to like one yep. or two or whatever, yep. it was going to the fourth quarter, I said, it's over. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there's no, there's no mm -hmm. way anybody on that Denver team wants it more than this yeah. guy and is more conditioned to end it right now. And not now. just physically, mentally. No, so, mentally. And that's the, the IQ. The IQ right there the will difference. take you. Yeah. And that's and I guess that's the experience part. Giannis kind of plays with a sort of, granted, he's an athletic freak. He's mm -hmm. the Greek freak, Nigerian mm -hmm. freak, whatever the hell you mm -hmm. call him. He still plays with a sort of reckless abandon and a non-patience that LeBron gotcha. eventually got. LeBron came well, yeah, into I mean, the league. Well, that, I mean, you got like 17 years compared to what? Three? Right. Four? Uh, five? Uh, five. Yeah, five. Yeah. has been in the league like six years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 17 really years compared years. to six. Right. Yeah. Bron's mental capacity is l just literally on another level. Yeah. So there's a thing to, um, to when you speak about greatness in sports and the greatest athletes in sports always had the mental edge. And yeah. with LeBron, he's going to be the smartest player on the floor every night they play. Mm. The difference with him and like say a Rajon Rondo, who would be the smartest player on the court usually, mm. is Bron is the best physically. Yeah. So, yeah. so you combine yeah. both of those together. You combine those together. And like Bron's had a high basketball IQ since he was a teenager. So you combine all of that stuff with the experience. And he's seen every single game situation mm -hmm. 10 times over. And yeah. not just him, too. And on top of that, I think that's where the Lakers have had the advantage this entire time, especially even over a team like the Clippers, mm -hmm. even though they had Kawhi, who mm -hmm. has all the experience, the finals, mm -hmm. MVPs, the championships, and all that type of stuff. That whole team isn't really surrounded with like playoff test battle yep. tested dudes like yeah. that. Like you look you look up and down the Lakers roster. You got Markeith Morris, you got Anthony Davis, you got Rajon Rondo, you got Dwight Howard, you got JaVel McGee, you got people who have Danny been Green. to the Danny Green. And made, and even JR. You've got people JR. Even JR. Yeah, even JR. Yeah. Yeah. You've got people who've been to the dance. Mm -hmm. Like you've got people yeah. who the moment ain't too big for them. Right. You know what I mean? Like even a guy like fucking the White Howard, mm -hmm. like he's mm -hmm. he's been an underappreciated or the white, player uh, for a Kuzma, while. Uh, Kuzma, uh, what's uh, white the white boy? Uh, Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Kyle. Even uh, no, uh, you're talking about uh, AC the goat. Yeah, Caruso. Yeah, Caruso. Yeah, Caruso. <laughs> yeah, Caruso. Like, but he's not a vet, but he but he but plays having as so if. many veterans yeah. on that team. Yeah. Who to Kaz's point, they've been in these big moments, right? So like when you play, perfect example when when Denver beat the Clippers. You had like Paul George has been in some playoff games, and look who it but is. But he hasn't shown up. Not, not hey, he hasn't shown up. Unlock the door, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, you have you have these guys like a Rondo mm -hmm. who is like saying he's battle tested is one thing. Yeah. But Rondo's gotten it done in the playoffs. Yeah. Yes. LeBron has gotten it done. Danny Green has gotten it done. Yeah. Like for that to be 
that the makeup of that team, that shit matters. Yeah. That's why they can beat a team like Denver, who was so hot in five games. It's because they play the game but again, at I mean, a higher clip. Again, this is what I'm saying. A supporting cast like that will mm-hmm. take you further and will give LeBron the needed breaks that he needs because yeah. mm-hmm. LeBron's not gonna be able to do that shit night in, night out. Yeah. I need But here's the thing I, though. I need someone else. He needs to, he needs somebody, he needs that supporting cast to get them there. Yep. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Once once it got to the fourth quarter and it was down two. Like just take me to that point and I'll take he's care of like, the rest. Yo. Mm-hmm. All right, we're here. Switches cool. on. Gotcha. Yeah. Sixteen fourth quarter points. The dark night mode turns we on. Bro. Yeah. We going home. It was it was one of the greatest. Like the only the only thing that could have made last night any sweeter is if it was in Staples Center. Yep. If it was in a packed crowd, like I don't even if, if it was in the, mm-hmm. if, if it was in the regular arenas, I don't even think it would have got to Game Five. I don't I, even think no, it would have got so. there. I don't think so. I but think I, think, sweet. I think I think that would yeah, it, it was wrong. such a it was such a perfect like classic like playoff legacy moment Mm -hmm. and that's what lebron's playing for now lebron Mm -hmm. is playing for these legacy moments Mm -hmm. where when you're looking back at his career and you're seeing all the things that he's been through you got to look at you look at mj you got okay you got the 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 switch hands against the lakers you got got the the blazers the the six you got the shrug against the blazers you got like when when we're playing fucking nba 2k 50 in a couple <laughs> like 20 years <laughs> that's gonna be the LeBron wrong. edition yeah. <laughs> and you gotta play the LeBron moments yep. yeah. that fucking fourth quarter tie game finish score 16 point like that's gonna be like the PS7 achievement or the Xbox whatever achievement yeah. you know what I'm saying like you need those moments have if to. you're gonna go down to. as the greatest to ever do it and that's one of those things where and, man and if not, that was in Staples and not and not and not the to, crowd going crazy oh, I would have been there and not to, yeah, yeah. Yes, we, we know oh, you guys we know we know you would have been courtside <laughs> no I would have been courtside I'm like seventh row but <laughs> <laughs> not not to not to not to not to sit on this topic too much but it's a nice shirt bro yeah Rory's here Hey Rory, um, hey Sam, hey, hey Sam. guys, how y'all doing? <laughs> if they win the chip, if the Lakers win the chip against mm-hmm. the, the Heat or the Celtics, whoever it is, uh-huh. is there an asterisk with this NBA championship? No, no. I think honestly, I think it's worth more yeah. than a regular chip. Like yeah. these motherfuckers are in extraordinary circumstances. Yes, no, 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 no. There is no home court advantage. Well, I've seen the narrative has yes. bec- like the narrative is now becoming because the Lakers are in the finals and because Bron is. It's only because it's Bron though. Mm-hmm. That's right. So I'm now I'm <laughs> looking at it like, oh, you know, it's the bubble, it was half season, yeah. it's that and the third. So it's like, does that negate against his legacy if they do win against whoever they play? Right. Or is it still treated as okay, Bron still got it done. Lakers got it done. You got to think about everything that's gone on to get to this championship. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Mm-hmm. Everything. It's you were hurt last year. Yeah. You came back. You traded damn near half the roster for Anthony Davis. People saying you gave up too much. You come back. Fucking Kobe passes away. Yeah. Fucking the season stops. A pandemic happens. Dead set. They restart the season. Social justice matters take over. Like LeBron is front and center on all these things. Like you're in a bubble. You're away from your family. You're away from all these things that would make it just Easier. another. I'm almost thinking like this is one of the hardest championships to win. Every at this point. player that they've talked to about the bubble has acknowledged that this is the hardest that it's ever been to yeah. get a championship. Mm-hmm. To your point. They're saying it now that it's an easier path or there's an asterisk because it is LeBron James. Mm-hmm. And they, to the point of trying to discredit greatness earlier, they're going to try to discredit him at every single stop. So exactly. now it's like, oh, you were just playing in an open gym. Like, yeah. so is everybody else. And dealing with all of those other pressures, not mm-hmm. having his family, being mm-hmm. being the, the face of a league that's trying to be the face of the social justice movement mm-hmm. yep. from a sports side. Mm-hmm. And like people... Shit, they for almost every didn't word play. you say, and like they, they, they were ready to not play. Like they were ready to go home. They were ready to not in the play. middle of the playoffs. So dealing mm-hmm. with all that, and then you still got to go out and play ball mm-hmm. and do it under all of that immense pressure with no fans, with nothing else to like get you prepared for the game, but right. just your own will. Right. Mm. That's that's greatness. Yeah. Like that's greatness. So to me, there's no asterisk on that. Like shout out to anybody who's balling like they are in the bubble because yeah. that's just difficult. And again, shout out to the Nuggets, bro. Like yeah. they put up. A hell of a fight. That's a team that's going to be around for a long time. They're built for sustained greatness. Jamal Murray is a dog. Mm-hmm. 
Nikola Jokic, the new big fundamentals is a dog. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like they got some young players. Maga Porter. Maga Porter. His his political views be damned. The motherfucker yeah, can play basketball. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, basketball. I'm still I'm still waiting for Bo Bo to break out. They got a lot yeah. of players that I like. They didn't even have Will Barton. I think Will Barton. Yeah, Will Barton was hurt. Was out. Playoffs. Like Denver will Gary be back. Gary Harris was hurt for yeah. a lot of the bubble too. Denver will definitely be back. And they got a great coach. Mike yeah. Malone's a great coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they were they were, and they were fun to watch. Mm-hmm. They were fun to watch, man. Mm-hmm. Every night, like fuck, Jamal Murray did some straight up Jordan shit. Yeah. The other wild. night, you know, what I mean, he was wild in every wild. fucking game. So shout out to the Nuggets. It was a great fucking run. But Lakers back in the finals, and this concludes our Sports Center segment right here at the Lions <laughs> Den with your host. Well, I'm Cam sorry, and Kaz. <laughs> well, catch us next Monday. It's not every day. PM on Sports Center. It's not every day of fucking go go to his ten finals. I keep telling y'all, this is why I like to sit there and listen to y'all niggas damn. ramble off fucking He's been stats. been to more finals Jesus. than. 97 percent of Yo, the league, bro. Let's way more, more, more than the Knicks and entire franchise. Yeah, the entire Knicks franchise. Motherfucking shit, bro. Yeah. God damn. Oh, I, I, hey, listen, I love it, man. I it just am still concerned about not getting a sweatshirt for my. I may, I may, Leon. I may, I may, Diobre. How's it pronounced, Rory? I may, Leon. Amy, I don't know. I was about to say Amy. I've been saying say Amy. Amy this whole time. I'm like, fuck. Okay, Bro, that makes. I I only know because I asked the guy who makes it. <laughs> oh God damn! Just is again, this, is this and then here we go with that. Yeah, right. Drop, here we go with this again. <laughs> I didn't even drop the name. <laughs> 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 here we go with this again. All right, cool. I'm trying to be cognizant of the name dropping. Oh <laughs> my gosh, Bruh. So much has <sighs> happened. So much has happened this week. So much has happened. It's one of those weeks where I'm like, what? What? Are, so much. What do we even talk like, about? I don't, I don't know, man. Do we? Like, do we? Oh, what, my what happened? God. I don't do know. We? Nah, we, talk, we talked about it in the basement. We're like, let's leave it there. Bro. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bro. Oh, you know, be, I mean, before we move on to wherever we're going to go, uh, congratulations to Rory, Joe, and Maul for doing what y'all do for the last two years. Word up. Y'all deserve every Great fucking run. day off. Mm-hmm. Wherever y'all doing next, man, do it. But I'm not yes, about sir. to congratulate Rory on camera. Oh, <laughs> you're not okay. I'm sorry. Well, whatever. Right. It is. I'm, about to keep... oh, I'm just like showing my man love. Oh, you know? Let me hold a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. He boosted our numbers when he when he dropped. Oh, in. that's oh, facts. Yeah, yeah. That, he definitely that, boosted that, our numbers. Yeah, let's, let's go get the Rory boost. Just gotcha. wave to the people. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Turn the money down. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get anything yet. Right, my, my bad. My bad. I don't, just don't chappelle yourself, bro. Just don't, yeah, don't, don't go to Africa. <laughs> don't, don't leave us. Don't. It worked for him. <laughs> it actually did. It did. It, it actually did wonders. It did. Him. It did. Yeah. It was the long Is that part two of Rapper Tales? Is this a, is this a part two of Rapper Tales? You want to do part two of Rapper Tales? All right, go for it. All right, so part two of Rapper Tales. Uh, Beyonce had Wait, dropped I have to one tell, of, like a rapper story. Yeah. So oh, okay. sometimes we'll have a we'll have an episode called Rapper Tales. <laughs> okay. And we'll just talk about like rapper tales, our, like, like our interactions with certain like rappers, interactions with okay. certain artists, and like why they're funny, why they're not funny. Okay. Okay. So Sam yeah, will like yeah. this story. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 Can't you tell? Can't you tell about my thigh meat being out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So so one night, um, right I here. think the night Beyonce had first <laughs> dropped her, uh, she dropped her first. <laughs> Surprise project, and um, I was in I was in Port Authority listening to it, okay. and tweeting about it. I'm like, oh, this is crazy. This and a third. Okay. So then I stopped listening to it, and I started listening to Rick Ross's Rich Forever mixtape, right? So I started. That was tweeting. your self-titled album, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just started, I tweeted. I'm like, yo, Rich Forever should have been an album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like and not a mixtape, right? A fact. Okay. Which is you know that was Which a compliment. So about 20 minutes after I tweeted that, I get a DM. Mm. From Rose Forever or whatever, Richie Rose. Rich Forever. Rich Forever, right? right? right. I'm like, oh shit, like, what's this about? Okay. This thing is, (laughs) this thing is, whatever, whatever, Rose Forever, Rich Forever, Forever Rose. He's Rose Forever. Rose Forever. (laughs) I am Rose Uh, Forever. uh, (laughs) So he says. Speaking of which, do we have that? No, it's not that. That's not Rose, bro. (laughs) Bro, so the DM says. Yeah, best guy. Mm. It's fine. That's a Whispering Angel? Oh, wow, that's delicious. Was it? Let me, let me check this Marlo real quick. Go ahead, um, anyway, so so the DM says, you wouldn't understand this boss nigga shit. You're a Beyonce ass nigga. That's a great DM. <laughs> That's a great DM. He called me a Beyonce ass nigga because I was tweeting about Beyonce's surprise project. 
<laughs> and I'm like, why are you offended? Because I'm championing Beyonce, but I'm also championing your Rich, your, your Rich Forever mixtape, which right. should have been an album because right. it was made as an album. It was completed as an album. And it sounded like an album. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, what you mean? I was giving you, I was bigging you up. <laughs> this nigga says, you understand this street shit. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I don't. I'm from the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from South Brunswick. Yes, I don't understand this street shit. It sounded like a, it's I mean, like you a are, good album. I mean, you are a Beyonce ass nigga. And in all like, fairness, cause I like, cause I in like, all fairness, I, it was a surprise album. Everyone was talking about fairness, it. In all fairness, we are all Beyonce ass niggas. <laughs> it's, it's some way, shape, or form. Like, but why? I felt like no, there's why worse you, things why to would, be. There's way worse things to be. But why were you disrespected <laughs> when I was championing a project that should have been an album that should have made you money that should have been helmed as like maybe one of your top five projects? No one. Mm-hmm. I think it's nuance, bro. And it goes back to my whole fucking topic of these artists being sensitive. It's not about being sensitive. I just I tell you this all, all right, the time. Man. You don't I don't think you really right. understand. I don't think you understand like people pay attention to what you say. Like especially there artists, was nothing the, negative that I said about his project. It's not there was about nothing that. negative that I said about, you know, remember I, remember what I told you I'm before we started today when I was like if you reply to everybody who has something negative to say about you online, you go crazy. But you got to make examples out of a few people. Should I make an example out? No, well, I'm just saying somebody made an example out of you. Can you do that when I'm not here? <laughs> you do that when I'm not here. That, 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 that was my rap. That's okay. That's my rap. That's my rapper tip. <laughs> Rick Ross calling me a Beyonce ass nigga. Yeah, that's that's my ass. It's a great tale. It's a funny tale, tale, but for the sake of uh, time, my several bags. <laughs> that's that's why. Okay, I'm le- I'm leaning on. We'll just time we'll just bags. We'll just wait until. Why uh, am I the guinea pig every time a rapper wants to do something? <laughs> Bro, I've, been Yo, Jeezy, bro, I've been, been a guinea pig with Jeezy. I've been a guinea pig with Fab. I've been a guinea pig with Ross. You've been, I've been around a, for a long time, bro. I just don't understand. Like, why does my give opinion... yourself a little credit? All right, yeah. fuck it. Give yourself a little bro, credit. You've been talking about rap you... for mad long. Yeah. yeah, like a decade plus. Like, Rory, do you go through this shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. At all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't strike me as the thank type. You, thank like, you. I, I, appreciate no. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Totally that. understand. I, just, I, you know, I don't get it, but whatever. Yeah, I'll take, take heed to your to your. Look, to listen, your listen. I'll take heed to it. There are times, though. <laughs> there are times where I look at you and I'm like, <laughs> I, I really don't feel like this is going to be a positive thing. <laughs> like the way you're setting what? this up, I don't really what? feel like it's going to go in the direction I think it is. What do you think it's going to go? Just go, go ahead. What do you think it's going to go? Go ahead, Cass. No, no, no. Give me, give me. No, a, because I feel like you're gonna backhand. Magic you're, gonna, you're gonna backhand compliment. Me like, how do you know? How do you know? Because I know you. You don't think this is a, a, this is the negative pretense that you're coming with? Come on. You don't think that? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic. Go ahead. Listen, I'm trying yeah, to, I'm trying just, to get you optimistic. You're giving off bad vibes, bro. This is bad vibes, like, bro. It's negative. For what? <laughs> is, see, you see, had no idea where I was gonna go. You had is, no idea. All right, guys. You didn't know. See, you everybody who's I watching this, for this juju. You all have. Everybody has that Personally. friend, right? You don't have that friend. <laughs> <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Everybody. Now has you the, know why I told you to suck my dick. What? Because no, they do this to me all the time. Rory included. Is this they set point? me up for. Shit. <laughs> they set me up for shit all the Whoa. time. And make it seem like I'm the crazy one. Behind the scenes, these niggas be killing me all the fucking time. And it's not appreciated. <laughs> See, it is funny. It is funny. Bro, you're the easiest, not, right, bro, it's not that funny, You're Sam. the easiest person to make fun of. Because you're so sensitive. You're extremely <laughs> sensitive. For someone who... I know you're not talking. Listen, I know I'm sensitive. Okay, all right. I own it. All right, okay. I own it. I'm a big-ass Pisces, bro. Okay, Everything right, bothers bro. me. Let's, 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 let's not. <laughs> you, Everything bothers me, okay. and I'm, I own that shit. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm trying. <laughs> Especially being on this I'm public. All I'm saying is, yeah. yo, bro, juju, bad juju, bro. My fault. My fault. You don't need to have the bad juju, bro. We do, well, I'm, I'm happy that Cam's here. All right, I'm let's, happy let's, Cam's let's here. Let's, I'm happy Rory and Sam are here. I'm happy Ed and Jake, everybody's here. Shut up, Sam. We're in good... It's a good, it's bro, a, good a good vibe juju. Sunday, bro. This is good juju, my man. Good vibe Sunday, B. <laughs> I gotta fuck with y'all, man. Come on, man. Yo, is this what podcasting is like? It is. <laughs> okay. With, just, with me and him, it's just literally us just like. This is amazing. We, we, like, we might have done notes like the first two episodes, okay. and then every episode we just like, like all right, fine, just let's just fire it up. Whatever, just, whatever <laughs> sticks, like we'll just land it right there. <laughs> whatever sticks, just we'll land it right it there. Up. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, like, 
like because yeah, these are his real friends. friends. Yeah, that's a one. That's been yeah, our guy. Of course, we've been there before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we all have. We all but, been uh, there. My gosh, man. Yo, it's, <laughs> Man, I no, because like last week was so heavy. Last week was like a heavy the last episode. two weeks were were pretty heavy. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. like so to have like we you need know, to have the good juju back in the yeah, store. Yeah, back like, in the shop. like yeah. I think that was our shortest episode. We only did an hour. Yeah, I literally it was like fifty five. Brianna minutes Taylor or some shit. shit like came out like maybe a few hours before we went on. Yeah, yeah, and we walked in here. We was like, yo, we don't have it. Like, I was like, man, I, I could, I could, I could talk some shit, crack some jokes, but I was just yeah. not in the joking mood, and yeah. it was just a heavy ass episode. And if y'all stuck around through that and listened to it and supported it, great. But it was literally one of those like, you know, we owe you an episode, so let's just toss one out. And yeah. I'm not too proud of it, but I'm proud of this. I'm happy we're all here. Yeah. Good vibes, good juju, all that type of shit. Braun back in the finals. Fucking my man Izzy, still undisputed. <laughs> oh, yeah. UFC yeah, middleweight yeah. champion. Beat the fuck out of Paula, Paula, Paula Costa. That's his name. Giants lost today, 35 to 9. Out. Shout out to friend of the show, Undisputed Universe, Mall. UFC, middleweight champion. Yeah, it's Mauve. What's Mauve? Oh, this. <laughs> Wait, what is what? I, thought, really I was wearing Mauve the other day. It's great material, right? Wait, oh, that's that. what you were wearing? That was the Nike, the the, ty- uh, the tech yeah, fleece you had on. That was Mauve. No, I, I got that a Mauve. No, I, I, I that was that so a you mauve sweater in there. Yeah, it's a oh, I thought that was a bre- you want to oh, bring not- the mauve? I, I don't. Is that a bu- <laughs> I know I thought that was a present. Bring the mauve sweater. <laughs> That's not a birthday present. Is that a mauve? Is that a towel? Or I don't is know if you strike it. I didn't bring this over, guy. bro. I do. It what is, is that? Like, what do we have there? Wow. Is that the wow. New York Yankee? This is the this or? is the man who says he's not rich at all. Okay. What is that? This is what we're gonna do. We embarrass our friends on the show. Is that a towel? Wow. Wow. Oh, that is nice. This is kit material. Cam, that's God, nice. Oh, let me this, see that. Let me. Let me feels feel like, it. Let me this feel feels it. like something that a kitten would sleep oh my in. <laughs> my gosh, with the matching pants too. My gosh. Thank you. My Thank you. goodness, this is so nice. Bro, I ha- it's a whole Bro. suit. Bro. It's a whole suit. Would it be me Bro. if it wasn't a set? Oh, these are shorts. Hold on. Is it a crop top? Bro. You letting the thigh me hanging these? It could be. It could be. <laughs> you letting the thigh me hanging these? Bro, wow, this is bro. Nice. I'm in the gym for a reason. Bro, shout out Nick and Nicole. Hey, Kid. Hey, Kid. <laughs> Yo, my brother. Hey, Kid. Nick, Nick, Nick and Nicole. Kid bro. bro. Wow. I got to protect my hoodie. Let me Please. get that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hoodies Please. are for protect. Holy this is, shit. Not gonna, this is, unseason- this is unseasonably <laughs> soft. Bro, wait. No, like, Cash, you see the price tag? I'm not gonna look at the. I'm not gonna disrespect I'm not, I'm myself. I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm looking at the price tag. God that damn, shit, that shit. A wise man once said about money, it's just paper. Bro, that it's feels like paper. a fucking towel Bro. out of the St. Regis Hotel. That's that cloth. That's cloth. nice. <laughs> <laughs> what sneakers are you gonna wear with that? That's that what cloth. Sneakers? What sneakers? What sneakers would you wear with that? Um, I got some shit I could wear with that. Um, there's Force like the lint, there's white. a Kith Linen Air Force Cam, ones. Do you try to embarrass all your friends every time you put on an outfit? No. <laughs> Nigga, he no. does that. You try, do that. You every, try to price us all out every time you go out. Every Pelosi he did, yo. He's the only nigga that's down the back. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you like before, you know, yo, the nigga, yo, yo, every Pelosi, three outfit changes. Yo, this man used to come. Nobody would see him except us. He's just doing <laughs> outfit changes for us. Bro, like he's not on the stage. I'm like, who are you changing for? I'm who trying are you? To, I'm trying to impress this my This isn't friends. the Oscars, bro. Like, what are you changing for? <laughs> but it is. That was my Grammy. Nigga bro, wasn't. Nigga that was my Grammy. If y'all don't know, y'all don't know stage, Cam, right? <laughs> And then nigga made three outfit changes. Meanwhile, I'm up there sweating. Sweating the shit like, out. Which is why you should have three outfit changes. I'm fucking reeking of lose all I'm, that I'm shit. I'm reeking of, of cognac because of the fucking water guns spilling all And here this me. thing in the back with a satin jumpsuit on. <laughs> talking about, yo, y'all good? The satin jumpsuit. He's like, bro. That sounds crazy. Are we He's like, bro, the, the animal that made this fabric went extinct <laughs> <laughs> five years ago, B. <laughs> yo. <laughs> they just knitted this shit from uh. eight. It's Egyptian cloth, bro. <laughs> Egyptian cloth. Yo, you know what I should ask him? What's up? Remember we talked about um, that time I disappeared in DC? Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. We never so got let's his talk, perspective. Let's talk, let's, talk, let's talk an old Palooza tale that we talked about on this episode. Do we have to talk about of this you? one? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm low key the one, still mad at no, the, DC, the one in DC. This one. At Howard Theater. I, when they found me behind the curtain. Oh, I that one. That I thought you were just talking about last of DC. No, 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 we leave that in the wind. No, no, we leave that in the wind, brother. No, no, no. We'll never talk about that like that. We talk about, huh? 
the last DC. No, we'll talk about that off camera. We'll talk about that off camera. We'll talk about that off Sam, like, though, Sam, though. I'm still mad at him about that. Like, I'm not prepared. So we, I'm so prepared to unpack that. Bruh. Me, yeah, that, yeah. Bruh. Me and Cash talked about There's it. There's multiple. Yeah, we, we spoke about this a few. So we want to get we want to get your perspective. Perspective, yes. your your eye point of it. Uh, this, was, um, this is 2014, DC, right? Yeah, DC mm-hmm. Homecoming. Yeah. Howard Theater. Howard Theater, yeah. Right after uh, we came from um, Tailgate. Yes. And I was ripped. Yo, so <laughs> anybody who um who was there for like our early stuff, we kind of just, like, like we would throw Palooza, but we were partying just as much as we were working. Yes. Um, Lowe was like the leader of that movement of, um, <laughs> of, of, of partying like that. So we, we would always go to tailgate. We would always do Palooza on like a Saturday evening. Yeah. So people coming from the tailgate could go straight there. And we were at Howard Theater right down the block from, uh, from the tailgate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm texting everybody like, yo, call time is whatever, four o'clock or whatever. Everybody's like, bet, bet, bet. Lowe okay. says bet. <laughs> So doors are about to open and Lowe just gets there in, in the nick of time. I'm like, yo, you good? He's like, yeah, I'm straight. But like, he's, he's looking through me. So like Lowe's looking through me. Anybody who's ever seen Lowe in his in his sauce bag. The like, cognac is pouring yeah. through his, the holes in his skin. On everything. So we were still like figuring out how to throw the party. So yeah. like we were buying like just we random. What, three years in at this point, two years? Like two and a half. Yeah, two, two and, and, years. Two and yeah, a half yeah, years. Yeah. And so like Lowe is... Lo is like hosting. He's 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 our main host, mm. and like we're still figuring out like how much liquor should we buy, like what should the bars, like figuring out logistical shit. Right. So, this particular party was a nightmare for us because we had to switch venues. Oh, because of the, the shooting. Day. Yes. Yeah. yeah, 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 we, yeah. we had to switch venues, so right. we we're running around like chickens with our head cut off. Got a great venue. Oh, just so we're clear, no, we didn't. No shoot one got anyone. shot at our party. It was a party. It was, it was, it was, a, party. was a party. It was a party. The venue. Yeah, we were the, going to throw Palooza at the night before. There was a shooting there. There was going to be no events happening. Yeah. We had to work through the eleventh hour to mm-hmm. secure the Howard Theater the yeah. next day. Yeah. So imagine me, um, getting no sleep, and then dealing with all of that that day for Lo to come in having the time of his life, <laughs> and he's just like, "Yo, I'm, I'm ready to go." So boom, we get to the party right, and what usually used to happen at those parties, oh, we would run out like- of alcohol. <laughs> We were running out of alcohol. You look like the school principal just so, scolding, like telling the parents, like, yes, this is what your son did. You know, I, don't, I don't know why he asked me to tell this story. Yo, because I don't it's so like funny. It's, like, it's, no, I, it's so like the way I told it, like, all right, cool, that's the perspective. Bro. But because you were so mad and like It's only because like it's rare to see Cam that mad. Yeah. Like he's a very, not to get that he's, a, he's an extremely composed guy. <laughs> like for somebody who has to deal with the the amount of shit he has to deal with, yeah. he seems to remain mostly composed on throughout all bullshit. Through all the bullshit, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So getting Cam this mad is a feat in itself. <laughs> so continue. So I'm we're on stage, we're trying to manage like a performance situation, I want to say it was like Zoe Dollars or Wale, um, yeah. who was performing, but we're trying to like get entourage off stage and all this stuff. So to transition the crowd, we need a host. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, where's Low? And then Rory, who's running point <laughs> every, he's like, where the fuck is Low? And I'm like, I don't know. So I'm looking at Benner like, yo, where's Low? I don't know. So then I like, peer to the corner of the, the stage <laughs> and like Howard Theater it's an actual theater so there's like curtains and shit on the stage and I just see like movement like just movement I'm like yo somebody fighting and then <laughs> so I go I'm like God because because it, w- it was getting a little staticky on stage yeah. like oh, so I'm like damn somebody getting it on in the in the in the there was um, lots of movement the curtains, was, like, mad frantic movement yeah so <laughs> I discover my guy <laughs> behind this this um, covering, the young harlot. Yeah, and I'm like, we'll call her. <laughs> yeah, just with 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 some young lady, and 
I'm just like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I came in like like Mary J. Blige and Power. I was like, what the fuck is going on in here? And I'm like, and Lowe's like, oh my bad, my bad. What you need me to do? I was like, host. So yeah, then like, he goes and grabs the mic. You right? don't hear the awkward silence Bro. in the fucking beer. And, and for people who don't know, we had kind of a, we had kind of a sketchy little history with DC up until that point. Like yeah. we had one really good Palooza and we had one really bad one. So we were kind of still being judged by them. So right. I'm like, every every little moment counts. Right. <laughs> and so Lo, in, in me asking him to go do his job, he goes, he grabs the microphone. Pulls his pants up. <laughs> pulls his pants up, yes. He, he, pulls up his, he pulls up his sweatpants. Oh, yeah. He gets on the mic and says, yo, we ran out of Hennessy. <laughs> the party's over. It's 7.30. <laughs> It's 7 30 p.m. It's 7 30. Yo. Yo. I'm in the middle of the crowd, like pouring people up shots. That's what that was my, my service to the people. Yeah. I'm in the midst. It's like six, seven guys who are like bigger than me. And they're like, yo, what do you mean? He they y'all ran out of Hennessy. I'm like, huh? He's like, the host just said y'all ran out of Hennessy. So I look back. <laughs> See low up. Low, there. Like, I was like, I'll be right back, y'all. Jump yeah. on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Mad Hennessy left. Mad Hennessy left. Mad Hennessy left. Like we did used to run out of liquor, yes. but we hadn't so at that point. There was always a stash so somewhere. I'm like, <laughs> I go on the stage. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he's like, huh? What? I say, yo, bro, you're done. Like, go home. He said, give me the microphone. Lo was the first, go home. the first ever member of Palooza to get subbed out mid party, bro. And the crazy shit like, is we had no one else to host. Nah. I was just like, yo, bro, go home. Nah. <laughs> like it was just And I grabbed Shorty, I'm like, we out. Bro, that's all <laughs> he was waiting the DJs for. DJs rocked for the last hour yeah, and a half bro, and that thank, was fucking it. Man, thank God for Wale, son. Thank God for Wale, bro. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's 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 friends. If you're gonna finish the story, you gotta like that's friends and family. Tell the story. No, oh, yeah, we're not doing no. that. Oh, we're not doing that. No, no, no. no we're not no. Rory. We can talk about it after. We're not doing that. No. So that's a very that's a very detrimental story. Leave that. I, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yo, because then you gotta have the conversation. Like, there's no limits. The type of nastiness that it's, she's it's already no said she was down bro, for, bro. So, like, so the next morning, God. so the next morning, everybody sobered up. Whatever the case is. Wait, was that the same night as that um, was that house? That was the house. And you? <laughs> that was the same. Yes, that was the same night. So that's this is why I asked, do we want yeah, to tell no, this? No, story? no, 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 leave that, leave that, leave that. Because that, that, that'll turn into something else. Like, leave that, leave that, leave that. It's like, am I the only person who was there? Like, it was, it just, that, 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 that started that was, that was so much shit. In my mind. <laughs> that started so much shit, bro. By the way, <laughs> nothing happened to anyone at the party. Yeah, no, 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 Everyone no, no, was no. safe. There were no incidents. There was zero. Everything was literally based on me and what I did. Oh, boy. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, close. so, so the oh next gosh. morning he yeah, comes into the room. Have fun, son. Lowe was a fun guy. Huh? <laughs> I said, you know how to have fun, You're but fun nothing's guy. gonna stop you from having fun. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I wild out. Yeah, that was that was a little, that was a little inconsiderate. Hey, you know, my favorite or least favorite thing about like having to like reprimand Low in right. these situations. It's like he'll be so apologetic. <laughs> like he'll be so apologetic. Like, like bro, bro, my bad. Bro, my you know, you're right. I'm the host. I'm supposed to be funny. <laughs> and then do it again the next <laughs> month. I'm like, yo, yo, am I pussy? Like, you just are you just telling me this? Like, I'm in an abusive relationship with my friend. Oh, my he's like, God, yo, bro, bro, my bad, bro. Like, I know I'm how to calm a moment down in the heat of a moment. I know how to get it. I know how to get it level. Do. I don't, I don't know if you do, <laughs> bro. You you got me like two times, and I was like, nigga, no, <laughs> like, like, like no, this is wrong. <laughs> He's like, yeah. everyone, I know, I'm wilding out. I got you though. I'm sorry, but and then, literally, Detroit. Yo, where's Lowe's? <laughs> oh, there he. Where's nigga? Right, yo, yo, bro, 
he was. <laughs> and it's like it's like yeah, talking was, to talking fault. to like one of your star players and yeah. just making sure his head's on the street yeah. before the game. And it's just like yeah. low, low def- definitely would be the Rodman of the crew, bro. <laughs> I didn't know how to handle it back then. Yeah, to bro. send somebody I, I, to I, his I, hotel. I, yo, 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 can you pick him I up? just didn't know how can to deal with sure it. Can you make sure he gets his medicine before the game, bro? That's why I started rooming with him on the road. Like, no, you're coming with me, sir. I didn't know how to deal with it back then, man. Sound check, you're there. Shut up, you're there. Meet women, it was his liquor, like have money in my pocket. I just, I didn't give a fuck. Bro. I literally did not give a fuck. Bro. It was just Yo. me just being rambunctious. Fun like, times, man. They'll never, bro, they'll I'm never. Let, let the chips fall where they may. Like, they'll never be able to recreate that, bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah, Anytime I, I say or think about my like, I, I apologize absolutely. about that one, bro. It's cool. It's cool. It's good. Bro, it's cool. We, we've made it past that. <laughs> I done cool got, okay. got, got yelled at by Rory. I done got yelled at by Benner. I done got yelled at by this nigga. Like, even Cash yelled at me one time. I'm like, what, nigga, what are you yelling at me? Yeah, the green room was filled with bitches because of you. Like, why are you yelling at me? What the fuck did I do? Like, the fuck away from me. Wait, wait, what was that? Nigga, you were like, very key with having the green room filled with mad random people. Oh yeah, people. right. Yeah, that's like true. that was your thing. Cass yeah. was the guest list. I mean, I would, I would other. make sure that like the people that came and supported, like supported. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where we're gonna leave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it right there. We'll that's right where we're gonna leave it. Oh um, man. man. Man, this nigga low, son. Fault, this man. nigga low, bro. <laughs> Rapper tales and Palooza tales. Oh, My is. nigga low. We gotta have a Palooza tales episode one day. Like, from we gotta, we gotta really end. disclaimers have to be drawn throughout. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because it's like you don't want to offend. You don't want to, uh, you know, the wives and the girlfriends. We gotta make sure everybody. Is. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that. Yeah. Patreon. Yo, whenever we start our OnlyFans, that's what we're gonna well, do. I will do yeah. We'll do Palooza tales on we're Patreon. We're gonna do Palooza tales on OnlyFans, bro. Don't don't scrunch up like Only OnlyFans fans? is in the future. No, no, this, yo, no, 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 this <laughs> nigga is very Watch. adamant about, bro. Bro, listen. Like, see, meats. thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew I wasn't the only meats. one. Like, bro, stop, what? stop doing that. Why are you? Why does this make you uncomfortable, bro? That slap was so no, uncomfortable. Bro, it was. <laughs> this nigga slapping the inside. Bro. See, the, nah, for, listen, <laughs> they're gonna subscribe somehow. Bro, you like, gotta, it was cool. You gotta, you gotta tease like in the twenties where they show a little kinkle. Kaz, <laughs> Kaz, it was it was cool for like when we did the episode about the experiences with the the, the gay folks. Like, we get it. Bro, he's nah, slapping his like, inner stop. thigh. You sit next. It's to not even man. the outside of his thigh. Yeah, he's like, slapping his inner inside thigh. Of his, like, stop. This is bro. uncomfortable. Bro, you know we have like a, a very strong like gay audience too. Yes, bro. we and we Shout appreciate out to gang. their support. But Always stop support. doing that. Stop doing What's that. Wrong? Why does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> like a wild Samoan, like, like, like come get it, I'm ready. Like no, nigga, like do bro. a haka dance. Like stop, bro. I'm having nightmares about the sound of this man. Bro, slapping this his nigga will walk thigh. in here with the tightest fucking sweatsuit on. Always. Like, does this make you uncomfortable? Yes, low? yes it does. Yes. Like, yeah, this is very always. disgusting. Yeah. Gonna be wearing like compression, it. son. Can't like, buy really? that confidence, bro. Yo, I don't bro. like it. Can't buy that confidence, bro. B. Bro, loan me some. <laughs> <laughs> loan me some, please. Um, now to switch gears real quick, uh, Cam, I just want to put this on a platform, put this on a, on a pedestal. You're doing an okay. initiative with the uh, Care to Vote. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, oh, yes. Uh, let's talk about so, that. yeah, I mean, obviously, November 3rd is coming up very rapidly. Yes. So, explain to the people um, what that's about. Care to Vote is a program we started um, with my new uh, nonprofit organization, Self Care Incorporated. And it's an awareness program where we're, we just want to educate and really um, inspire people to get out and make a difference and vote. Mm. Um, we understand that voting is not the say all end all. It's mm. not the the answer, mm. but it is a huge part of the solution. So what we're doing is we're we're sending out care packs to people and inspiring them to mail it to others and like give the information. So we're giving people registration dates, where their polling station is, yeah. giving them a voting plan, like how to vote when, mm. and also on top of that, we're equipping them with physical things like masks mm. and like things that because voting is is a process. So we're just trying to equip people the best for that process. And we care to vote. For me, it was just important that everyone that I know, because you can only really control your own personal circle of influence, Mm -hmm. that everyone I know is registered to vote and Mm -hmm. that they do vote. Um, Because we're just at a critical mass as a people. Mm -hmm. We've been at a critical mass as a people, but as a country, we're just in such a critical state Mm -hmm. that you can't, you you have to you have to make a decision number one mm-hmm. 
And then on top of that, you can't be like, cause you, you have everyone who wants to like be Twitter warriors and they yeah. want to tweet about what's happening and what's wrong and don't want to do anything. Right. right. The least you can do is vote. Right. Like, that's the least you can do. Yeah. So, you know, we're just trying to affect change in a positive way and like use this platform that we've built through, through other, through other avenues, through entertainment, you know, through, through sports and through everything just to raise that awareness for folks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's all care to vote is. Um, you can find it on our page, which is a uh, self care Inc. Uh, care is with a K. Mm -hmm. uh, self care Inc. on Instagram and um, on, on Twitter. And yeah, we're just we'll be pushing stuff out. We'll be giving out a bunch of information, and I'm inspiring people to actually go an early vote, mm -hmm. just because or encouraging, not inspiring, encouraging people to go out an early vote, just because of what's been made of this election and just how crazy it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, there's just too much at risk. So if you can early vote, early vote. You can look it up at vote early, um, vote early .com or excuse me, voteearly.org, they'll show you where you can vote early in your in your districts or um, where you live. And we just want people to get out there and do everything possible to start to affect change. And voting is the start of that. It's not to say all in though, but it is the start. And I feel like, you know, to the people who say, yo, my vote doesn't matter, it's just one vote. If people's votes didn't matter, they wouldn't be working this hard to suppress people's votes mm -hmm. and to like, and to deprive you of information mm -hmm. and deprive you of knowledge. You know, like you have you have the current, leader of the country saying you know throw the ballots away mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's just like we're at that point in like Same. in the episode of america right. 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 it's like it's, it's time for people to like stand up and do something it's the I, i've been saying forever it's the most important election of our lifetime just because we can't afford another four years of what we've just been through yeah um so yeah that's what care to vote is um so it's through through the vehicle self-care where we're just working on helping people better themselves and like you know better educate themselves give people resources and yeah, that's your spill. And, now, and, I, and, I know I've known you for a long time. And if there's one thing I know that you're excellent at, it's it's galvanizing people. Yeah, it's like if you get, you can get people to come out and party, you can yeah. get people to come out and and work on either if it's marketing and sports mm -hmm. or or liquor brands or mm -hmm. anything. Like this is different. And like yeah. now, you know, I've I've been on a bunch of the self care zooms, yeah. and you know, um, now with care to vote. Yeah. Um, you know, what's been like the, 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 the strange difference, not difference, but like, I, I'd like to know just from your point of view, like when you're galvanizing people to do something that isn't a party, that mm -hmm. isn't like mm -hmm. something that's just cool for yep. people to do, you know what I mean? Like what's been, I'd say the challenges and, 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 and making sure that people see how important this is as opposed to something, I guess, easier, yep. like come have a great time at a party, come have a great time at this event. Oh no, now it's time for us to do something that actually means something. It's really hard to, to like, to, to inspire people or to galvanize people when it's something that's not cool, yeah. right? It's not something that, you know, it's not access. It's not, you know, it's not a party. It's not a good time. It's not an escape. It's not a sporting event. It's not some, it's, it's your real everyday life. Mm -hmm. and that is really hard to like kind of get people inspired about so the way i do it is i just kind of position it to people where this is what actually affects your life and your ability to do all those other things whereas mm -hmm. like you know with with great parties with great events with like just different market like storytelling marketing things that i was doing it was it was very easy to to paint those pictures and tell those stories because that was something that people were aspiring to and mm -hmm. like something that whereas with all these things now I'm trying to give people tools and resources and just ways to like live a life that they don't want to escape from. Mm -hmm. And that's like where, I, where I'm going with it. It was like, so I care about these things like, and, and through this whole pandemic, I think we've all kind of got to tap into what's really important and right. what really matters and just understanding the weight of that. And it's not sexy. What I'm doing is not like getting like, yo, like hitting you guys up in a group chat to say, yo, I'm doing this Zoom meeting about, you know, mental wellness. Like that's not sexy. <laughs> like that's not that's not something that like, you know, some of us who are who are getting more in tune to that are like we're on time for that, but like if I'm just sending that to the masses, like there's a difference between tweeting, yo, know, we're doing Barclays Center and that getting you traction, know, traction. Like 1500 retweets, yeah. you know, 10,000 likes to like, yo, we're we're going to talk about like how you combat, you know, anxiety and depression. Especially for men, right? Like, right. you know, because for black men. For, for and black I've, men. I've, and I've been, in, I've been on most of these calls, and you know, obviously, 
with everything going on in the world, mm-hmm. I feel like there's been a more of a a focus yep. on you know mental health because you know the you, you can't be and especially with you know seeing things happening to mm-hmm. black people across the mm-hmm. world and right. you know mm-hmm. fucking Breonna Taylor's and George mm-hmm. Floyd's all these type of things mm-hmm. like these are the type of things that mental wealth we're like we're in the middle of mental welfare yep. like yep. this is warfare yep. rather these have been plotted attacks on us to feel mm-hmm. like hey there is nothing you can do mm-hmm. like this is something made for you mm-hmm. to to feel less than mm-hmm. and and all these calls and all these talks like it's all been like black men of stature yep. black men in certain positions that that affect change that affect any sort of you know uh, uh, uh that have like influence yep. all that type of stuff um when it comes to when it comes to doing this um what was what's been the one thing that's really like that you've really gained from it for yourself i know what other people are mm-hmm. getting from it because you know there's it's very easy to follow mm-hmm. and like there's you know bullet points and all this type of stuff and we always kind of talk afterwards mm-hmm. but like as somebody who's putting this together you don't get the same sort of same sort of satisfaction after a party. Yep. I know how you I yep. know I've been with you after parties. Yep. I've been with you after events. It's a different vibe. When you when you've touched people in a different way, mm-hmm. how does that feel like? What's what's the difference between that and 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 doing like a palooza? Yeah, sure. I think the difference in like getting off of one of those calls where you where you tap into just a different part of not only the mind but you know the heart and I think for me, the biggest thing I've gained from it is just like people constantly coming back and just saying how much this is helping them. Mm-hmm. Like people like literally saying like, yo, this is this is life changing for me. Like, you know, like I, I didn't, I wasn't even comfortable talking about anxiety or I wasn't comfortable talking about depression or I thought I was the only one. Right. That's what I hear a lot. It's like, yeah, I thought I was the only one. And I think, you know, just providing a space for those convos to be not only had, but received, you know? Cause right. like there's, there's, there's people who get on those calls and say nothing, right? but those are usually the ones who are hitting me like, yo, this was so informative. Like this yeah. was so great. Um, you know, I'm now, I'm now going to seek out a therapist or, you know, and I'm going to seek out a life coach or I'm going to like go and register to do the census and all these things. So like just knowing that you're helping people in a real way, that's the difference for me. So it's like, I, I leave those things as opposed to talking about like, yo, Swizz's set was crazy or this I'm, I'm talking about individuals on the call like yo this person reached out and this was like said this was super helpful him and his wife are gonna go and talk about this so like just knowing that you're helping people in their individual lives and that's kind of just the purpose of self-care as right. a whole is because to your point we're fighting so many battles right and we're fighting a war but the problem is for us is we try to fight that war and we're empty ourselves right. so like we're not pouring into our own cups we're not like feeding our, our minds and our bodies and that's the purpose of this whole thing is like you'll feed your mind you buy information resources information and resources so you know yeah. and then i don't know if, if if you can answer this um obviously the self you know um self-care initiative has led to so many different conversations mm-hmm. and it's you know it's led to your voting initiative mm-hmm. but you've talked about financial literacy real mm-hmm. estate mental you know mental wealth mm-hmm. um depression anxiety we did the first one you yep. ever did me you did it together yep. um and if you can't answer this that's fine but like what's which portion of this whole self-care initiative has given you the most fulfillment um because the topic wasn't discussed as much or the topic wasn't highlighted as much I think it was the the wellness conversation okay. because, um, you know, wellness, even as there's been a bigger like highlight on it and like, you know, people are talking about mental health more, it's still kind of taboo. Gotcha. And like when we talk about those things, we, we talk about them in depth and like, you know, to the point like where conversations that I just know being, you know, my age, men don't talk about shit. Mm-hmm. So like not saying that we no, don't talk about right. anything, but we don't talk about the real shit. And so when you're able to get into a space like that, and have a conversation about your spiritual and your emotional well-being as well as your mental well-being Mm -hmm. and then not only not you're not just coming there to vent we have professionals on the line who can who can give you tools and who can give you tactics to use and then you know that can inspire you to go do that work on your own that wellness conversation was just so good for me because people that i've known for 15 plus years we're just on there talking about things that they've never talked about like Mm -hmm. there's things i found out about my friends that i was like you know, I'm going through this, 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 and this. And like to see them speak to me and to speak to that group of people who they knew, people who they didn't know in just such an open way and get that kind of fulfillment. Right. 
um, you know, and just walk walk away, leaving inspired. Like, yo, I want to go work on this. You know, the same way I want to go work on getting my money up. Yeah. I want to go work on my mental well being. Mm-hmm. I want to go work on my emotional health. Mm-hmm. You know, so like that that one was just so big to me to the point where like. I was like, yo, this 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 one in particular is going to be something that we revisit often, mm-hmm. because you know, like with you just with the state of the world, like it feels like something's happening traumatic every single week, and we have to just be prepared and like do those check ins, like Not to the point where sometimes I like y- y'all have gotten a text. I just open up the Zoom line and we just let people come and talk and come and vent, and like you know, we may not have solutions, but we're here to listen, and so. Mm-hmm. I think that's been the most fulfilling thing for me was the wellness conversation Mm -hmm. and just giving brothers that space. And it's it's a weird time, man, because like you are somebody who brings people together. Mm -hmm. Like I've met a lot of my friends, my adult friends through like you, Lo, Rory, Della, Mm -hmm. like Niles, Niles, like a handful of people that have, I've met lifelong friends through and you know I mean? Switching back to, you know, uh, before the pandemic, mm-hmm. like now that I'm thinking about it, that Palooza that was in, in Barclay Center. I was about to go there too. Like, but, yeah. That's really the last time like New York had anything. Yep. And might ever have yep. anything yep. like that. Like yep. for a long time. Like I'm thinking I'm like, damn, all right, that was in December. Mm-hmm. Pandemic happened in March. Like the only concert where we had like Fabio Foreign, Dipset, mm-hmm. Locks, Swiss mm-hmm. Beats. Like State all property. the State State property, property. Yeah. like Just legends mm-hmm. up in Barclays mm-hmm. Center. When's the next time that's ever going to happen? I'm like, God damn. Like, it's almost like in a weird way. It just really hit me. Like, yeah. when are we going to like, we didn't have summer jam this year. We didn't have, we didn't any have any festivals. We didn't have any concerts. We didn't like, have any tours. We didn't have any parties. We didn't have any of the regular things that we do, you know, from like February, like when summer and spring opens up, yeah. we don't have mm-hmm. any of that. And not to put so much on our shoulders, but we were the lasting memory of a collection of people having fun and watching performances and running around in the venue or whatever the case Mm -hmm. is and you know that speaks a lot to I don't know if it's timing I don't know if it's coincidence I don't know what it is but Mm -hmm. what we did we we enjoyed it we had it and if it lays flat where it is and that's fine Mm -hmm. but like I can never look back on any other experience and have the same feeling or emotion of what we experienced on December 13th. Especially knowing that, <laughs> like, this is the foundation mm-hmm. here. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 it yeah. didn't start too far away from here mm-hmm. in, in Harlem, in yeah. the apartment mm-hmm. building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, like, now that it's, you know, it ended up in the Barclays Center. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think um, to, to, your, to your, first, your first question, just like, when will we ever be able to do that again? I don't. I mean, not just, not even just Palooza, but just gathering. I mean, just gatherings, yeah. just, just concerts. Just well, I mean, Atlanta, that, Houston, and uh, uh, Florida. Y'all I mean, niggas are still they, doing y'all shit. So, <laughs> so let gathering. us know how that shit feels because yeah. New York niggas haven't felt that shit since no. December. So must be nice. Tanya, must be tap nice. into us. Let us know, buddy. They, yeah, but, they're, they're having like a thousand people like painting sips in Atlanta right now. Like, it's going crazy. Like, I'm straight. It's going crazy. Why, nigga, why are you I catch going y'all to- in the summertime, bro. <laughs> why, are going, why are you going to a paint and sip, bro? <laughs> Yo, I, it's, that's another another story for <laughs> another campfire. <Yeah. laughs> but, um, but no, <laughs> to your point, Kaz, uh, I don't think that we'll see gathering of that magnitude for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, you know, because not only are you going to be dealing with like actual laws and health guidelines, but people also just don't feel comfortable. Yeah, I'm straight on you being know? under any, like if they told me there was something happening in my Master Square Garden tomorrow, I'm like, ah, I'm good. Yeah. I'll wait for the second or third wave of yeah. people. Hold you. I don't want to be the first one. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> you might were in the little. last lap last night. <laughs> might need a little like, bit I'm going to last lap right after What this. was the last lap last night? <laughs> I might need a little bit of that. Oh, y'all, is the concert at the Garden? Yeah. Uh, might need a little bit of that. Tell yeah, you. and I think, I think just to, to even like, to, to sum what we were talking about with what we were able to do, um, I think to put it in its in its proper context is that's something that has never been done before and something that'll probably never be done again. Yeah. Um when you take something from a a baby shower room yeah. in oh. Harlem to th- the arena in in that an NBA team plays in yeah. Yeah. and you know and, and to to sell as many tickets as we sold, which like that, that's a good thing to brag about, right? Like, yo, we, we did 10,000 10, plus, but 
beyond that to see that we were able to put that experience on for all of these people to and scale for, it up and for to scale it up to yeah. to something that's never been done there's never been a party yeah. that has been in, in in an arena in a professional arena that's just facts yeah that's never happened before so to be able to do that do it the way we did it which was you know building it from the ground up like it this wasn't a plan you know what i'm saying like we didn't i didn't come into this like yo we're gonna build this massive thing i came to like yo lo you're, you're pretty good hosting you know host this shit like yo, Kaz, i think the beauty of it is is it it was organic yeah like we was all broke yeah and we wanted a party that, yeah, <laughs> and, that, like, and that's what i explained like, wasn't it trying every to time do m2 yeah. we wasn't trying to do pink yeah. elephant or but people house. identified with and that everybody. and that's what yeah. made us so but that's what i explained special. to everybody yeah. when they asked yo how did this party start i'm like if you want the short version, we were broke. <laughs> we had some chicken and we got mm-hmm. some Hennessy and my man had a fucking basement and mm-hmm. this is what we did. It mm-hmm. was a perfect storm that was it. Like It really was very yeah. It was a perfect storm of shit because it's like, it was like the first like hashtagable event. Yep. Like, yep. I don't even know. That's like, how, fo- that's how yep. Fox discovered it. Like, that's a fact. Yeah. Like if you, if, you, if you go and find, like, we have plenty of good folks. Shout out to TJ. Shout out to Goddess. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of folks that are mm-hmm. in the inner workings of Twitter. They will tell you and he Palooza slash Duse Blues was the first hashtagable event yep. ever. Yep. Bro, you know I, what I mean? I, I, and I, I, yo, and not even to cut you up, but like when this is like to the Barclays point. Yeah. When we uh saying. opened doors and they were like like Cameron was like, yo, it's sold out. <laughs> I'm thinking it's like the ring around the <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I was, was thinking that, I didn't think it was like Everything. Bro. So I'm like, oh yeah. Now if you let people out. tell it, we didn't tell it. We gave those tickets away. But that's another story. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Whatever the case is. If you let them <laughs> tell it. We gave those tickets away. I'm <laughs> looking like, oh, like, yeah, like the the little, nah, you know, the circle. Nah, I'm that like, was that was that capacity. Bro, ten, <laughs> ten about two thousand. hours, two hours capacity. later, ten I look up, I'm like thousand. I'm like, hold on, wait. Yeah. Big drip. Bro, Y'all niggas, so we sold legit. We did this. Hey, hey, hey. Bro, it was, it was couple bitches I can live with. Bro, and it's it like, he'll never bro. perform at Barclays Center. Ever. Ever. It was, Ever. It was amazing. He'll, it, he'll, like, you gotta think, like, you got, you really gotta sit there and really think about it. It's like, damn, like, these are historical moments. Mm-hmm. Like, when are you ever going to see the dip sets, the locks, mm-hmm. the state Props. property, mm-hmm. just Bobby O'Farr, just Blaze, Blaze Fab. Beats, Fab, mm-hmm. In the Barclays Center again, yeah, all together. Hey man, yeah. it was it was a good. It time. can't be overstated. You know, we had fun. The last time was probably what the Bad Boy reunion, probably. like one, like one no, of those, like, like powerhouse, like what one powerhouse, power what are those here. things like, and yeah. when are we gonna have those again? We don't know. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'll tell you this, like just being a part of that, just being able to say like, hey, like you know, Rory's here, we're yeah. all here, like we all had a part in that, like yeah. being able to say like that's like before the world went to shit. Mm-hmm. We got that off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. that's something I don't go for what nobody say. I'm super proud of that yeah, shit. You well, should be. You, know, like, I, I you just, should be. You know, I just want to say, like, killer, man. Thank you for Is this about to be a speech? Yeah, it's about to be a speech. Jesus it's Christ. low key. Well, you heard that news. I was like, I thought. Well, like a Howard University graduate. <laughs> I, say, I thought I escaped these. Ready. I thought I escaped these since we're not having a party. Say, it's been seven <laughs> months. <laughs> it's been seven months since you got a, 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 a good low speech. No, I was so like, no, no, no. Get the no, speech key. Okay, you know, key, all right. You know what? Fine. I'm Go not. ahead, speech key. No, I just want to say, you know, no, my nigga. God. Like, you know. <laughs> my God, you know, you yeah. know, you, you know, aside from the Palooza situation that mm-hmm. we've established over the eight last eight years mm-hmm. you know just the self-care initiative alone you've uh you started a, a great narrative or you helped continue a conversation that that needed projection yeah um and then you know the care to vote initiative is taking it to the next level mm-hmm. so you know just you know being here talking with us like we're your brothers we talk sh- yeah. shit all you know all time but you know it's great to see you you know, maneuver, yeah. especially in this kind of space yeah. where you have to figure it out and you've done a, a magnificent job keeping you out of flow, keeping the conversation going, keeping it fluent and keeping it constructive. So thank you, bro. You know, to all the people that, you know, who are just now seeing the face behind the, the brand and the face behind all these initiatives, this is the man right here. And we appreciate you for stopping by. Man, if I, if um, I don't tell you, man, if I don't tell you here <laughs> without getting a low key speech, without getting teary eyes. <laughs> so y'all are laying it on. Nah, so. just, bro. Like, what we do, we do it to each other. other. We do it to each other. man. Like, and, and exactly like yeah, what we do it to like, each other. The Amazon and Spring Hill shit got announced. Low, Talk that shit. Hit me with the flowers. When he got yeah. his apple shit, I Talk hit him with the shit. flowers. So I'm going mm-hmm. to hit that you. Shit. Same thing so with Rory. Yeah. Same thing with everybody here. Yeah. Like, bro, uh, yeah. a lot of people see, you know, Low and myself and mm-hmm. Austin and our mm-hmm. DJs yeah. and Ravy and all these yeah. people. They don't really get to see 
you yeah. and you know what i mean like and i think that's by design because mm -hmm. like at and the reason why so many people fuck with you is because like at the core like you just you you put so many people before yourself yeah. like yeah. you're extremely selfless yeah. and like for that reason man i commend you thank you i appreciate you like not just as a friend yeah. but like as a business partner yeah. as a homie like yeah. You have brought us around the world to party. Yeah. Right? Like, you brought us around the world to party. You've given hundreds of thousands of people an experience that they'll never, ever get again in their life. Yeah, wow. Shit that they tell their kids about. Right. Shit that they tell their husbands about. Wife, family. Right, right. All that shit. Shit that they can say, like, you, you, were, you, you made their studio 54 for mm -hmm. them. You gave them their tunnel. Thank you me. gave them their fucking their like exit. These, mm -hmm. Their exit. Speed. Like, mm -hmm. You Close gave speed. them yeah, yeah. you gave them something that could never be replaced. It's not tangible. Yeah. It's a moment. It's a memory. And right. those are things that if nobody tells you, if people don't like feel good about giving props or, or, or saying what yeah. like I'll tell you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for that, Thank man. You. And Thank I know, you. and I'm not saying that as on, on some closure shit. I know yeah. as brilliant as you are, yeah. you got a million more things yeah. coming down the pipeline. Yeah. So it's, it's only bigger I'm just, and better, man. I just like to, you know, that period of time, man, whoever was there to experience it, whoever is there to see it, enjoy a show, get a shot to the mouth, fucking party with low, get a party with low. Get a, get a, party with low party sounds, with low it sounds <laughs> filthy now. Yo, Sam, this. shut up, bro. <laughs> See, that shit does not sound appetizing. In this, <laughs> in this concept, this sounds fucking filthy. But with all that said, man, I just want to say, bro, oh, it's, it's, it's an honor and a pleasure to call you. I know you in LA right now. I'm, yeah. I'm glad of all the shit you could have been Kaz, doing. Yo, Kaz, stop you're slapping here. your thigh while you're crazy in, man. So I just want to say, I'm so <laughs> glad <going>. that you <laughs> I'm just happy you're here, you, man. Like, you my here, nigga man. for real, bro. I'm happy to be here. For real, bro. for real. Like, I love this. I love this guy to death, oh, man. Like, man. real shit. I'll go to the ends of the earth for this dude because Likewise. he would do the same thing for anybody he believes in. So, yeah. And Thank I, you, bro. Thank you. Aside, aside from the self, uh, you know, care to vote, what else you got coming up? If, if you can announce or if you have anything, come down a pipeline. He, he sounds in the A's. Uh, I don't I'm, think. I'm just trying to get this money, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, nah. Keep um, it like that. Keep it like that. Nah, we've um we've been working we've been working on a lot of stuff. Um, you know, hopping more into like you know just brand strategy, um, which has always been something that I've been doing. Um, but I think you know just learning how to how to tell stories in different ways. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, finding what's what matters to people, what's impactful, and you know, just finding the most captivating way to tell it. And you know, that's how I've always how I've always worked. Like I can't I can't really align myself with something unless I believe in it. Um, you know, people included. So um, you know, for us to to be kind of where we are in in the business world and kind of just shifting the business. You know, I'm working on a lot of content. Um, like I said, brand strategy, a lot of digital campaigns, and then like, you know, but self-care is like the biggest, the biggest thing for me because it's going to make the biggest difference in the world. But yeah, you, um, we, we got some stuff coming down the pipeline um, that's, that you're going to see on, on, on TV. You're going to see on your, hey, on your phone. So, talk um, to you know, talk to him. really, really Nigga looked at me like on TV. I'm like, <laughs> all right, shit, I'm nigga, some on your side. Yes. Not, not yes. mirroring it from your phone, but right. actually <laughs> So, so you know, um, just I'm just blessed, man. You know, blessed to 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 have these opportunities. You know, to to not only do impactful things, but to be able to share it amongst you know friends and amongst gotcha. peers, and to just to do it in kind of my way. You know, I'm, I'm I have a very non traditional career. Yeah. Um. You know, I've had I feel like we're all. Uh, yeah, I think we're all. all I, I forgot who yeah. said this a while ago, but somebody was like, "Yo, them Palooza kids are like the Wu Tang of creatives." Yeah. Like everybody does something. Yeah. Where, oh, you can't, geez, I put the you mic can't, you can't, my fault, my foot. you can't, you can't, you can't, everybody you have from to, we you, have to, bro. Cam, mm -hmm. Ray, Rory, mm -hmm. fucking Duke, yeah, fucking Della, mm -hmm. like Fox, mm -hmm. not, every, everybody does something and they're extremely talented and they're extremely good at what they do, yeah. And anytime we got together, it was special, like, there would be times we wouldn't see each other for like weeks or months. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. like when we all got together, like you just felt that fucking energy. It was like, yeah, yeah this is gonna be special. It's yep. gonna be a good one. You know yep. what I mean? And like that's all I can really compare yep. it to, man. Yep. Like it's it's just great to see everybody shine, man. Yeah. And it's everybody. good to it's good to see um 
you know, like even back to speaking, like of why I was doing what I was doing or even to the selfless piece, it's like my gratification or my, my thanks comes in being able to see what you have all become, you know, of yourselves. And like considering where we all met and how we met, seeing what you've been able to do with your respective platforms and how you've been able to build and how you've been mm -hmm. able to grow as businessmen, that's the ultimate gratification for me. Like I get to see, like I get to tear up every time I see an announcement, like man, and you know, I joke with you, like yo, Kaz gets all the bags, <laughs> but, but like I'm just so, yeah. I'm just so happy and so proud. And you know, and like I Shout see, McDonald's. I see low, like just per <laughs> That was a Kaz is going to get a bag. <laughs> <laughs> that day. spicy nugget look was good. Day, look. Shout out to Spice Adam. Kaz as well. be popping up on my promoted ads. <laughs> bro, that time. nigga, yo, he's going like, to get yo, it. He's going to get it. I say, yo, Kaz is like eating nuggets with Spice Adam. <laughs> <laughs> like, where did this come yo, from? It was funny. It was funny because I was like, the day he was recording that, I came to, I was at his, I came to his crib in the morning mm -hmm. and I'm, in, I'm, I'm like knocking on the door, knocking on the door and like, it took him like five minutes. So then he finally comes in. He was like, my bad, bro. I was recording a drop from McDonald's. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I was doing a spicy nuggets commercial. Yes, I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. Yes. Not even gonna hold you on spicy nuggets. Kind of fire, but go ahead. Uh, <laughs> say, and he was probably eating them shits in his driveway, <laughs> right there on the desk. Nigga has a driveway, right there like, on the desk. Talk about that enough. Kaz right has there. a driveway, bro. Two cars. Uh, you got that bro. garage right, right the garage. there. Got bro. the grass garage. in the front. Got the mm. balcony. Bro, he walked us around the other end to come to the driveway. I was like, oh, you got bro. a whole yard. You got, you got <laughs> my man. Got garbage cans. Like, like it's all there, garbage bro. Garbage can recycling bins. <laughs> recycling bins. Oh, you got to take this. Gas <laughs> me, nigga. I ain't gonna stop y'all. Keep going. Yeah, right, I'll definitely Shit. take the Uber home from the club. Bro, I love coming to this nigga crib. Cause I know it's gonna be food on that table. It's gonna be hookah in that basement. And that Learn. fucking liquor cabinet gonna be lit, bro. I'm doing the Casa de Cas is always Casa Migo Cas. I'm good over there, man. Jake, we got any quick hits? Let's get some quick hitters. Let's get some quick, quick hitters hits. and get out of here. Let's get some quick hits. We had Cardi B, uh, the backlash from the OnlyFans thing. You guys see that? Yeah, so Why apparently Cardi B, she Why got some backlash because, okay, so here's the thing. Like, when you get a lot of money from OnlyFans, yeah. right, like, they still have to do these payouts. And if you're super popular, it was supposed to be made for people who aren't, don't have a platform. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. So, like, people like, you know, Bella, Bella Hadid, or is it? Mm. Bella, she Bella fucked Hadid, it up for the whole thing. Cardi B, all these other people. Now they're starting to say, like, it may not be a good thing because the people who really need these type of platforms of money, yeah, yeah. it's taking them a while to get paid out. Blah, gotcha, blah, blah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm sorry. I think that's an OnlyFans issue. I think they got to figure that shit the fuck out because they have a great model yeah. and people are going to want to get that. You know, no middleman money. Yeah. So like, figure that. Yeah, figure that. No middleman. Figure that shit the fuck out, out bro. Yeah, you gotta, is. you gotta figure out how to scale your business. Yo, Cardi, do yeah, your thing. Just... Uh, the only reason why I have a problem with Bella Hadid, I think that's what it was. She promised she new. <laughs> she exposed. Yeah, she like she finagled niggas. That's Listen, why. Like you, like, there's you kinda... no angrier group on the internet than niggas that are promised nudes. <laughs> bro, I need that nude. You now. can't play with the horny. You bro. can't play with horny dudes on the Yo, internet. Don't play with my horny. They will hurt you. Send me that now. Bella Hadid sending sneakers and shit. As uh, like, what? It was, it was what? mad wolf what avatars no? in her shit. <laughs> crazy. What, what else we got, Jake? What else we got, Jake? Michael Jordan announced his uh, new NASCAR team with Denny Hamlin. Oh, shout yeah. out to MJ. You know what I mean? The GOAT, GOAT, the GOAT B, a GOAT 1A or 1B. I'm going to call him GOAT 1B now. I'm going to call him GOAT. He's GOAT 1B. I'm call him GOAT. 1A. GOAT 1A. No, GOAT. Go on there. Second Go. best to ever wear number 23. There you go. You the, <laughs> the first best? Shake the table. Nah, you mean the first go best? A. The first best? No, I said the second best. Second best to wear number 23. Who, LeBron? But, not, but oh, shout yeah, LeBron, yeah, of course. Again, yeah, no LeBron, shade. Yeah, We're not shading MJ. Now, LeBron is, yeah, LeBron is the second, yeah, no second best to wear. No shade to MJ. Ever. He's doing a good thing. Owning a NASCAR oh, that's team. Beautiful. Bubba uh, Wallace is going to be his driver. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, MJ has put a lot of money where his mouth is lately, yep. you know what I'm saying? Like yep. he's not just talking to talk. I feel like we gotta let a lot of motherfuckers gotta let go of that yep. Republicans buy sneakers bullshit mm -hmm. that he shit said when funny. he was mm -hmm. when he was so super right. fucking young. And and again, you're 20 something years old with a lot of money. Yeah, I understand. And again, that was never even on record. Like yeah. that was like hearsay bullshit, yeah. whatever. But oh no, it was on record. That nigga confirmed it. He was like, yeah, I said that. He's, he's like, like, yeah, he said, said that. Jest. But he said it in jest, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like clearly, what but, he's doing now is definitely to be commended. Though. Exactly. One thousand yeah. percent. Donate a hundred million dollars to social justice. You know what I mean? And then like, started, being, yeah, yeah. He's doing. He's using doing. his voice, like yeah. being you know being one a of the only between the, the players and the, and the, one of the, the only black owners in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Like MJ, you can't. 
You can't shit on what MJ's doing, man. He's putting his money where his mouth is. So shout out to him. What else, what else we, we got? got? Uh, LeBron joining, just to touch on that with what MJ's doing, LeBron is also joining forces with the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition to find people who are struggling to pay outstanding fees, fines due to a felony conviction. Mm. Uh, so they made a move to, <laughs> they made a move <laughs> to allow convicted felons to vote, and LeBron yeah. is now paying all their fines. So that gang, they gang. Was he responsible that for gang, gang, having the um, LA Dodgers Stadium as a part of, as a yes. voting site? He was yes, 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 right? yes, yes. Shout out to the More Than The Vote campaign. Shout yeah. out to the whole family at Spring Hill. More Than The Vote, dot, is it dot .org, I want to say? Yeah. More Than The Vote, dot .org, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody from, from gang putting that together, man. Every top athlete making sure that these big uh, voting uh, uh, venues mm -hmm are available for people. Voter suppression is very real. Yeah. Um, people that are, are volunteer, if you're able, if you got the time to to, to, to volunteer or donate your time, yep. if you can uh, work as a poll worker, not the poll workers that are only fans, like an actual poll worker. P O L L. Okay, come on. P O L L. Come on, keep come on. Keep Get come on, come no, on no, no, they're being dead ass, being dead ass. Morethanavote.org, man. LeBron James, again, it's incredible that we're living in a time that our athletes aren't just athletes. They are putting their money where their mouth is. They are they are well aware of their influence. They're well aware of their their where their money can go to inflect actual change in the mm -hmm. community. And it's dope that we have people like Michael Jordan, LeBron James doing the work, what the work, doing what's really good in the community, and like I don't care how many baskets people score, I don't care how many championships they win. This is the type of shit that people will remember LeBron for. This and, is the type and, of shit. And that I don't, I don't, I don't mean for. to 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 cut you off, but in the same vein, uh, in regards to donating time and doing the work, uh, our boy Niles G. Did, yes. did a yes. great, great thing for uh, Grand Car Course, Bronx. Gone Course yeah. the, in the Bronx, cleaning up. Um, cleaning up initiative and just clean up the community. So you know, if you don't know Niles G, it's N I L E E S G on uh, Instagram. So go check out. He put out a flyer. I'm sure he's going to do another one. But if we're talking about cleaning up the community, doing the work, donating the time, that young man is doing exactly that. Um, so I just want to make sure people know that from the biggest to the small, yeah. people are doing their work for their for their communities and yeah. other communities as well. Shout out to Niles G. I Shout out to Niles G, man. Yeah. This just shows that there's work to be done at every level. Right, um, right, so right. don't feel like your, you know, your voice is too small or that you're, you don't have a platform to do things. There's ways that you can immediately start affecting change in your own community today. So, you know, I, I encourage people to research, find ways that you can help and like ways you can not only help, you know, yourself and your community help others. And there's just so many ways to do it. So shout out to the people who are doing it at the highest, most visible level to the people who are just doing it on their block. Like, it's, there's, there's work for everybody to do. And shout out to Loon, who dropped in a couple of episodes ago, talking about just Friend that. Friend of the show, my man Friend Loon. of the show, yes, yeah. sir. Check that out on our previous episode. He's talking about the exact same thing. Espinon's uh, Cam. Yeah, Cam was just talking Espinon's about. Fine. Yes, sir. You can do yes, the sir. work at any level in your community, whether it's, you know, police, whether it's just community service, whether whatever it is, you can still do the work. So just keep in mind. Shout out Harlem. Uh, anything else, Jake? That's it? All right. Um, and before we leave, uh, you know I'm the uh, founder. <laughs> Sorry, you know I'm just, I, just shut up, Roy uh. and Sam. Um, before we get out of here, um, and you're a music head, like everyone in here. I mean, it's somewhat. You guys rate me as a music head. Yeah, you, you, you uh, passed the test. Yeah, you passed the test. Who would you like to see in a versus battle? <laughs> Who would I like to see in a versus battle? Um, I got wind of the next one, but I'm not gonna say. It, but we'll talk about it offline. But who would oh, you okay, like to see? Okay. Yeah. Logan, spill I think some I know. Tea. I think I know. But spill. Uh, the I don't tea. think you know this one. In a versus battle, right? That hasn't already been. That it, hasn't right? already happened. Um, I would say Mary J. Blige. Mm. Mm. Um, and I'm gonna throw a curveball, just for like cataloging, like a bridging the gap ish conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go Mary and Chris. Chris Brown. Yeah. Mary and Chris Brown? I would Mary love to and see Chris that. Brown. Ooh. I would love to see that. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. I will, I, Mary I, and, and I Chris say it because Brown. of this. I, I say yeah. because, because that's that's totally an off the wall path. Yeah. I've obviously had this yeah. versus conversation at every barbecue I've been at. <laughs> but um, I just think that one, Mary's, Mary's catalog is insane. Untouchable. Um, 
And I think like what Versus has taught me is that you forget how insane certain people's catalogs are. Mm. Right, right. And so like Mary's, it was without question, like where she can go with it from everything to right. real love to um, just even like I'm features, going down, just features, oh. all that. Um, <laughs> yeah, pause <laughs> on I'm going down um, to uh, Chris Brown. I think like Chris Brown has, like if we're talking like a, a 20, I think Chris 20 Brown piece. has 20. I, if oh. you include features, I think Chris Rock. But see, like, what, all right. So with those two, there, there's two sets of ears that you're listening with that won't allow you to judge those respectfully because it's like mm-hmm. if if Mary plays, I'm going down. Pause, and then Chris plays, <laughs> take you down, take you down, take you down. They, yeah, but it's like all right, those are both great records. So it's like, how do you how do you score or judge? I feel those? like you need Mary to go with. Like a Mariah or somebody who I think Mariah I think I think I think Mary and Janet. Mary, if, you, if, you talk, cool. if you're talking about Bridget Janet, and Gap, Janet, Janet gets her out of here though, low key. I agree too. Low as a kid. Wait, 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 wait. Janet definitely yeah. gets wait, Mary wait, out, out of here. here. Janet, yo, out Janet here. can get Mary out of here with with the first songs, like the first nine songs on uh her control EP or LP. Right, right. Guys, are we talking about Mary J. Blige? Yes, we're yeah, talking about, we're talking about Janet Blige, Jackson. Bro. Poetic. Janet bro, Jackson bro. gets Mary out of here. We're I'm talking sorry. about sorry. you are my everything, Mary J. Blige. <laughs> Talking about all right, miss you much, rhythm nation. Uh, if we're talking about what else? Real love. What's the four one one? Janet, yo, Janet helped. I can love Janet you. Helm, <laughs> Janet helmed. Janet, Janet helmed a an fine, origin fine, of music. Fine, fine, fine. Mary is what's Mary Janet title? Literally the queen of. Hip hop soul. Janet also Janet also helped create New Jack Swing. <laughs> okay, okay. That's right, the so way like, to love. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. Yeah, I was like, That's I don't, the I don't, way I'm, like no, I'm saying, I'm, no, I'm saying, all right, and I'm saying, but like, I think the leverage, I think <laughs> That's the way love goes. I'm saying, I think the leverage, <laughs> the leverage is a little bit more on Janet's side. I'll tell you this. Well, I, I, I think. I think. Uh, I think. Yeah, Janet I, got it. I, I, I'm not prepared to argue this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this you just God touched him. How, how much time are y'all adding? Oh yeah. Yeah. One four four. Ooh, low verse count. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, anyway, Another everybody one. who subscribes to this podcast, Another thank one. you for. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have Cal on here one day. One day. Don't, don't get me started. Cause like, let's let's wrap it up. Let's, let's wrap it up. Can we edit it up? my sweat out of this? Yeah, there you I don't go. think they can see oh. it. They can't they, see it. Right, it's fine. Again, please, uh, <laughs> thank you all for checking out Say Less with Cas. I want to thank our good friend Cam for swinging through. Thank you, Rory and Sam, for swinging through as well. Jake on the check-in, Edin doing the cameras. Uh, make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash Kazim to check out all of the full videos of Say Less with Cass and Low Key. If you listen to this on Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, SoundCloud, Podbean, wherever the hell you listen to podcasts, I appreciate you. Leave a comment, subscribe, rate it. All that shit means a lot to the growth of this show because we all want this show to grow and be popping this shit. Yeah. So we appreciate you for doing that every single week. Like I say, each and every time we're here, am I forgetting anything? I don't think I am, but no, fuck good. it. I think we're good. We're good. They got the nods. All right. Yeah, I subscribed. I just want to say that. Yes, sir. I subscribe. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> fuck was See? that? See, I should have got out of here. I should have wrapped up soon. I should have wrapped up soon. God damn. Like we say every week, man, stay free, stay safe, and always say less Register to vote. We'll see you next week. Oh. And wear your fucking mask. <laughs> I haven't said that in a couple weeks. You haven't. Well, you don't. But say that, that kind of it's kind of tone deaf. Oh.